gosh, hello. Thank you for coming to the stream. Thank you for coming. We are playing Slime Rancher, as is classic lately. That's like all I've been playing, but it's just slime time. I don't know, my Twitch chat keeps like refreshing, I think. It's very weird, um, very weird. Chloe is here. Thank you for coming to the stream, Chloe. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Pepper is here. Thank you, Pepper, for coming to the stream. And EJM is here. Thank you for coming to the stream. I appreciate it a bunch. Thank you all. Uh, Chloe said, I tried doing an art stream today, but no one showed up. I do streams all the time and no one shows up, so no worries at all. I think it like depends on the time of day and the time of the week and all these other factors that I don't understand, but <laughs> I, I definitely do streams where no one shows up, so no no worries at all. We're gonna try to do mobile live dashboard on my phone because my computer is like having issues connecting to the chat. So if you say something and I don't respond within like a minute, just know it's, I think the chat is like acting up or something. I don't know. Well, let's get ranching, my friends. Let's get ranching. It's doing it again. Yeah, it's so weird. It's just like connecting and connecting. Are you guys having issues with the chat? Because I see that it's doing it on my phone and my computer, so I can't tell if it's my connection or if it's Twitch or what's what's going on. Let's see. Slime time. Well, I can see it just fine. So that's something. Whatever, I'll leave it out. Now you're okay. All right, cool. Well, I guess it's fine. Guess it's all right. All right, ranch, what should we build? What should we build at the ranch today? I don't know what this is. All items. Do I have that in my other areas? Cause I should. We could do the, I know I did the bees last time. I want these war pads, but I don't have enough stuff for them. So that's like what I want to save up for. Chloe said, hey rebel, what should I draw? You should draw uh, giraffe. I really like giraffes. They're like my favorite. So yes, draw, draw a giraffe, I would say. Okay, I need more pink, phosphor, and honey. Keep, can you guys remind me of that? Pink, phosphor, and honey slime. Poops. Pink, phosphor, honey. Pink, phosphor, honey. We can remember it together. Pink, phosphor, honey. Pink, phosphor, honey. Don't forget. Get out of here. I can actually just donate all my slimes to research. Or my slimes, my ports. Maybe that's the way I should do it. That might be the way I do it. Do I have a thing here where I can transport them to the research lab? Or do I just have to go to the lab? I might just have to go to the lab. And that's all right. Drafts are so hard to draw. Well, to get better at drawing, you gotta go outside your comfort zone. So that's, that's perfect, right? I say as I cry when anything is hard <laughs> to draw. No, you should you should try it. I think if you'd like to, if you're up to it, you should try it. I think it'd be a good a good challenge and also giraffes are great, so do it up. You've drawn one, how did it turn out? I just love them so much. I know they're very goofy looking, that's why I love them and I know they're hard to draw. I did open the door, yes, I did open the door. So I'm in the lab area now. We're making we're making true progress in the game, I would say. So I'm trying to build these like apiaries, which I learned are beehives. Ti, oh, I unlocked something. Advanced drill. That's great. Um. Oh ah. No, so I'm trying to do more research now. That's kind of my current goal. I did unlock a couple new slime areas too that I haven't even like touched yet. But right now it's just research. Okay, I just said, what are you in there? Oh. The mic is positioned so I like can't see the keyboard very well and I'm sometimes I like to look down and see what I'm doing. So if I ever make a mistake, it's you know, probably just because I can't see the keyboard. I want something to mix with these face slime, because I think they're cool when they're like mixed with stuff, but actually I could I could be boring and mix them with pink. I do need pink slimes, but it's kinda lame. Ugh, I need more too. I gotta go down here and get some more pinks. Did Finn say he's doing a stream tonight? He said he was, but I don't know if he is. I do not know. I haven't talked to him all day. I'm not sure. I see that slime and I'm like, there's a, nope, just slime. I wonder if I should farm some pinks just over, 
by the research lab so I can get pink slimes. Or pink plorts. How many things really need pink plorts, though? I kind of want to text Dookie, too, and tell him we're doing stream time. I don't know if he wants to come, but I really like when he's here because he knows how to play this game better than I do. <laughs> and they can always give me, like, solid advice. Giraffes are mega cute. Yes, they are. Giraffes are just the best. This is giraffe love. Giraffe love gang. We love them. When I was a zookeeper, I cared for the giraffes sometimes. And I have this super cool picture of me hugging one of them. But really, I just had food behind my back and he was trying to eat the food. That's how you trick him. Trick him into the hug. I love them so much. They're like scary though. I feel like people see giraffes and they're like, oh, what a gentle giant. But they're not. They're pretty scary. Pretty intense. Like, when we would let them out for the day, we would be on the ground with them to open the door, and like, oh my god, they're terrifyingly big. They're just massive, massive animals. I need to draw my new kobold character, but I'm not good at drawing lizards. The only way to get better is to draw more lizards. And no one's gonna argue drawing more lizards, I wouldn't think. Because lizards are fantastic. The snoots are so hard, they are! I know, I, I struggle with that too. The angles are just so much different than like, canines or anything else we draw. So I feel that. Finally, Twitch not being dumb. Yes, I'm so glad to have you here. I'm glad your Twitch is working. Sorry that you had to like reinstall it or get a new a new one or whatever. That is very frustrating, but I'm glad you're here hanging out. Okay, yes, I need the apiary again. Okay, two of those. Put them in the ground over here. One over here. I wonder if the location matters where I install them or if it just like doesn't. If I can just install them wherever I want. Only Dookie would know when he's not here. A lot of crafting stuff needs pink ports. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. Thank you. Because that means I'm going to put a bunch of pinks over here. Oh, from Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thank you for that. For that tidbit. I appreciate that. Oh, my mouse just froze up for a second. Dang. I wanted to make a giraffe sauna because I've got a long ass neck, but I can't do art. Yes, you can. Just keep doing it. The only way to do art is to do do art. That's and that's art. Rebel, can I draw you for sauna? Heck, yes. That would be awesome if you do Rebel. Thank you. That's very nice of you. I always love seeing art of Rebel, and I try when I remember to feature it at the end of videos. So if you ever watch a video and you draw me art, I'll put it. I'll put it at the end and give you a shout out if you'd like. My art is just a coin flip of whether or not it's going to be shitty or not. Well, don't be so negative on yourself, you know? Have Gotta have confidence. And trust me, I know how hard it is to have confidence because I am someone who lacks in it a lot. But I have learned that nothing nothing is gained from being hard on yourself. And if I want to improve on something, I just got to keep trying, honestly. That's the only way to do it. Some days I can't draw a circle. I feel that hard, though. Yeah, some days I, I am with you. How do I get out of here? Come on now. Gotta sneak out this little like weird claustrophobic area. Hey Rebel, did you see what Twitch posted about the raids earlier? Darius, thank you for coming to the stream. I'm really glad to see you. How has... Okay, sorry. Let me answer your question. First of all, no. I have not. What did they post about the raids? I didn't see it. And second, how are you liking the uh, screen that we, that we worked on? I hope it's working out for you, for your channel. Um, okay, I was just in there. I gotta go way over here to get the food. <laughs> it's a lot of running. I do need to just get those, um... Oh, what are they called? Like the tele teleporters, would it be? In place where I can... I think I can shoot things from one area to another. I would like that for the food. A lot. The best place to put the beehives are the jungle! Oh, so it does matter. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Chloe, I forget that you know this game too. I'm sorry for just saying that Dookie was the only one who could help because Chloe, you can help too. Thank you. Also, Robo, you never answered my question as to whether I can advertise myself or not. Oh yeah, I don't care. Um, just maybe like once. Not like excessively, then I don't I don't mind. Also, also, if I drew an overlay for my stream, would that be a source or a scene? That would be a source. The scene is like everything. So, like the face rig and the game and the everything else, that's a source. Or I'm sorry, that's a scene. A scene. A scene. Ah. 
Jingo stressing me out. It's a scene, it's a scene. No, so if you make an overlay, that's a source, but when you put the overlay in a scene, that's a scene. Making a scene. Yeah, an OBS, yep. That would be a source. I think you can do like image, image source, or something similar. These phase limit trees don't produce much. I will complain about that. They don't make much. Whereas my veggies are like overflowing. Alright, perfect. Let's do it to it. Let's get back to the farm, get everyone there, breakfast, and then we'll get crafting or we'll... At least we can start learning like what we need to craft, you know? What do you guys eat? Cuberries, I think? Oh no, minty mangoes. Why are you mad? Do I need to up your feeding rate, maybe? I don't really want it to be fast though, because then they'll run out. You'll be alright, I think. Hi, little guys. I'm gonna take your little porch. Thank you. I forget that they're here a lot of the time. Sorry. They're just so quiet. They don't cause any problems. They're just nice, polite. I wish all the slime could take note. I am not describing the dogs. I'm describing my perfect slime <laughs> who don't need to go to the park every day. They just stay in their cages. More phase lemons. Do it to it. Because I want to make an overlay to cover up my brushes and stuff and just show the canvas. Well, you could do that if you want to make an overlay. Otherwise, you could just um, take your screen, like your the window that you're sharing, and you could just expand it. So like, when it's on there, double click it and it'll have like the expand shrink tool and you could just shrink it or expand it to just show the canvas if you want. Otherwise, yeah, you could totally do an overlay for that. I feel that. Um, I have a mini player on, so I'm gonna draw and watch and listen. That sounds great. Sounds good to me. Good, good call. But I also don't know how to measure it. Um, I believe for Twitch, all the overlays are just you can Google it. You can Google like Twitch overlay size and it'll tell you. It'll tell you like the standard size. Otherwise, I just make everything huge and then hope for the best. Oh, our first one. What do we get? Uh, ornaments. Oh no, it's not ornaments. Cool. It's like actual useful stuff. <gasps> it's still coming. Oh my gosh, there was so much stuff. Thank you, Treasure Pod. Very strange, but even more valuable. Where do I store this stuff? Oh, do I put it in here? Got it. That's great, that's awesome. Good stuff. How are our beehives doing? Just hiving for six more minutes or so. I'll post my fan on our Discord. Well, thank you so much, Pepper, I appreciate that. Appreciate it a bunch, it's gonna be cute. No, I meant to measure how big the hole needs to be for the canvas. Oh, I gotcha. <gasps> What is this, clip-on fashion pod? Backup fashionable accessories for your slimes, what? Oh my God, we're gonna do that right now. Are you kidding me? Um, For the size, yeah, you can, I would, that would again be where I would just like drag and drop until the canvas was the right size, like double click on it. Fashion pods, oh my God, what do I need to make this, please? Okay, I need pink puddle, whatever that is. Great, so I won't be able to make this forever, but when I can, you bet your butt, I'm gonna make so many bow ties for the slime. They're gonna be so fancy. All right, what's, okay, I want warp tech. So we got pink warp depot, which I do want. So we need fossil lava dust. I don't know where any of that is. Royal jelly. The teleporters, excuse me, <laughs> I need hexacomb, which I'll hopefully be getting. Oh, and a blue slime lamp, fun. Let's buy up the rest of these blueprints. Well, advanced drill, yeah, advanced drill, advanced pump. I don't need the different color teleporters even though I like them. But I could just like spend my money, I guess. Blue teleporter, gray one, blue warp depot, gray one. Okay, perfect, bought that all up. Where will you take me? Nowhere. Okay. 
Oh wait, so let's see what we need to do to build one of the extractors. Okay, it just takes plorts. So we just need more plorts. I can build a pump. Learn more. Once placed, it'll begin working. Each can find, if used in the correct zone, pumps can find a special resource in the dry reef. The dry reef, I don't think I've unlocked that yet. Drills can find special resources in indigo quarry and apiaries in the moss blanket. Interesting, okay, so. Drills and pumps. I think I can only do the pump for now. The pump was in the dry reef, which I don't have unlocked. But the drill could do it in Nickel Quarry, and I just need more pinks, so. Let's do that tonight. Let's go vacuum some pinks and make a little pink home over here. Since uh, Chloe tells us a lot of things need pink plorts, so. It'll come in handy. A tablet pen comes in a tube. That's fun. That's very fun. Do you need more of these yet, please? They're like, no. We are stuffed. Well, eat up. You guys eat up too and don't come out of your pens. Don't be naughty. Chicken? Chicken. Oh, you want chickens? I got lots of chicken. Oh, what is that? What are these things I've never seen before? I can't even do these tasks. There's just things I've never seen. <gasps> Whatever. Pink slime time. You guys better not all be Largos by the time I get here or I'll lose my mind. What's a pink's favorite food, actually? You don't have a favorite. Well, cool. Guess you're getting the leftovers of whatever anyone else doesn't want to eat. Let's just get 50 of them and see- Actually, we could just free range them over there too, honestly. Maybe we'll do that and see how that goes. Has, has anyone ever tried to free range slime in this game? I've, I've not had luck in the past, but I feel like the lab is far enough away. Like, they're not gonna get anywhere, right? Like, they'll just stay in that area, maybe? I don't know if it's true, but I hope it is. Man. Man, oh stinking man. Um, come here. Come here. I don't need any Foz, but it's very nice of you to join us. I'm so thankful I found you on YouTube, Rebel, because now I can watch your Twitch and YouTube and talk to you on Discord and grow with you. Well, Pepper, I am so thankful to have you. I'm really glad that you found the YouTube too, because I love having people to talk to and hang out with. So thank you so much for like watching the stuff and supporting the content. That's always, always super appreciated. I I don't, I don't think I can oversell how much I appreciate that. So thank you for coming. I just want these plorts. Give me the plort, not you. Just plorts, please. <laughs> Whenever I see these stars, it's like, I'm not afraid anymore. And then they get me. <laughs> That's, uh, that's my favorite meme right now, by the way, in case you were wondering. I saw one and it just killed me and it was a girl and she was like, like, afraid of throwing up, which is like, can relate. It's like when you feel nauseous, but you're, f or like, <laughs> please let me butcher this meme format for everyone. <laughs> like, when you're not worried about throwing up for once, and then it's like, I'm not afraid anymore. And it's like, the random nausea. Ah! Thanks for coming to my TED talk. I hope that made no sense to anybody. <laughs> it's just, just how I feel. I don't know why I just went backwards, but it's fine. Come here. Come here, my little friends. I'm just looking for pinks right now, please. And pink plorts. I'll take pink plorts as well. Thank you. Thank you. That was your 900th sub. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I know, it's crazy that we have like 900 subs now. It's insane. It's so cool that people are watching. I, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Um, if you ever have a suggestion for a video, I'm very, very open. I am working on a video possibly for Friday. Probably not, honestly. It'll probably be Monday, just because it's taking me forever to edit it. Um, but it's like a serious video, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes over, because I've... I've never posted one like this before, so I'm gonna see if people like it, hate it. I mean, it's up to people. If they don't want to see it, they don't have to. They don't have to see that kind of content. But it's important to me, so I'll be I'll be posting that either Friday or Monday. I'm hoping. I I started editing it like way too long ago. 
And so now it's just like I'm over it, you know? Like I've, I've edited it enough for my taste. That's how I'm feeling. With that. Pippa, what are you crying about? What's up? I don't know why you're crying either, Pippa. Nobody knows. Pippa, you don't even know Pippa, actually. Where am I? I was like, I could go to the lab from here, but I don't think I can. All right, get my phase lemons filled up while I'm in here. Perfect. Actually, maybe I'll feed my pinks chickens because I have so many chickens at that uh, little ranch spot where they spawn. That might be fun. So I think I'm going to pen up the pinks and then we're going to see. We're going to see if I pen them up, if some of them get loose and then if those loose ones just kind of like become a colony in their own. All right, Pinks, let's put you here. Ready? 50 of you going in, because I know they're not all 50 gonna stay in there. I think they'll just break out right away, but I wanna see what happens, you know? You were the first furry I subbed to when I decided I wanna be part of the fandom. Oh, heck yeah, that's awesome. What, uh, are there other for YouTube channels that you like? Because I'm always looking for new ones to watch. I like, I like content, you know? I like that. Oh, do you think our bees are done? What is this? Oh, buzzwax. Great. Give me some stuff. Thank you. Perfect. All right, and this one's done. We got to put these on the moss blanket I learned, so. Put this stuff in and then go back, get back to it, you know? TBH, I think Finn was my first for a YouTuber other than Majira. That's cool, too. That's cool. Finn's a great for a YouTuber. I don't, I don't remember who my first one was. I don't even think it was like anyone specific. I think it was like watching like con videos on YouTube. That was my first like exposure to it. Watching con videos. And that was like no one, they weren't like fancy con videos. It was just like clips from first super raids and stuff. Which is very fun to me. All right, guys, I got some food for you here. Great, eat that up, you guys. Perfect. For the pinks, I'm gonna give them some chickens. I don't really know what kind you'll want, but I don't want this pen to get like overcrowded or anything, so that's fine. It kind of stinks because that chicken, the chickens I want to give them are on like the other end of the ranch, but it's fine. We'll give them these for now, and then we'll give them those later. I think I can put chickens in the feeder port. I'm pretty sure, because they are food. Perfect. Set that to fast. E, please. All right, let's go get some more chickens for them. That's what they need. Then we'll do it. Stormy Floof? Yeah. Their videos are awesome. I like Stormy's videos a lot. That is a great suggestion. Thank you. I like when they do the like information videos, those are fun. Twitch is glitching, sorry, no, Twitch, why? My computer was kind of acting up before, so I can relate. I could get these, I don't really want to yet. I just want to get chickens. Maybe I should put those chickens in the pen, just cause I'm gonna need more for those pinks now. Just gonna go around. Going like this until I catch something, I guess. Not seeing as many chickens at night. I mean, maybe there are, and it's just, you know, dark, so I can't see them, but. I feel like a ton of chickens usually spawn in this area. I just gotta get a rooster and then I can start my little chicken colony for the pinks. And I just heard some spawn that little, like, deet deet deet. Oh, and Pepper, thank you for the follow, and to. I can't read your name right. Elixir, maybe? Thank you for the follow. I still don't know what's going on with my alerts. I can't get them to like consistently work. They work sometimes, they don't work other times. So thank you, I'm sorry I didn't notice sooner. It's because my alerts are still acting up and I have not fixed it yet. I don't know how and I haven't wanted to Google it, so. So here we go. 
Come here, chicken. I guess we can have carrots too, that's fine. They'll eat carrots. I mean, they'll eat anything. They're pink, but... Stono roosters, though? Huh. Hopefully someone will show up soon. Oh, more carrots. Perfect. Come on over, carrots. Stormy, Solar Saver, you and Majira. Those are great suggestions. Thank you. I feel like I want to say I've seen Solar Saver stuff. I think like a while ago I watched her stuff from Majira. I watched their stuff before. Good, good suggestions. Thank you. Chickens, I hear you clucking, but like, where are you? Oh, there's one. I don't want those. I just threw them everywhere. Sorry. Maybe the chickens will eat them. Just kidding. The chickens eat bugs in the grass. I wonder if it just spawns chickens and not roosters. I guess I like haven't been paying attention when I've been over here before to see if a rooster ever spawns. More chicks either. Do chicks spawn over here? I mean, if they do, I just haven't gotten any in my random vacuuming. Well, that's probably enough chickens to get started. I'll grab the rooster roof from back on the farm and then we'll call that good. Sorry I'm late. Oh, Radish is here. Thank you for coming to the stream, Radish. No worries at all. Glad to have you. I'm just out ranching right now. I'm trying some new stuff at the in the lab, so I was just going to grab some chickens and then head over there. So actually, I'm going to go there now. You are here now. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I'm just going to get some water. One sec. So, wait, why did I go this way? I guess I can. We have this big, it's like, it's like a novelty red solo cup, I guess. Um, but it's like the biggest cup we have, so I always use it for water because I can just fill it up and like sip on it all day. But it just looks very ridiculous, just like this giant red solo cup. And I have to remember that like that's what I have when I'm on like calls for work and stuff because it's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna just one day have the red solo cup and like pull it up on a work call and look very silly. And carrots too, and the pogo fruit. I'll put all that in there for them. I just munch on. Omnivorous, fun, very fun. All right, let's donate you. And let's go do our morning ranch, and I suppose. Actually, we'll go this way so I can get the phase lemons on our way. On the way to the cave. So yes, I want to get enough plorts today to do the drill, I think, because I think it's the drill I could do in the indigo quarry and get the special resource, so I need to do that today. At least I'd like to. I feel like farm chores take all day. So right now I'm just trying to like get enough plorts in the little plort system to where it's not done yet. To where I can build more stuff. That's my oops, that's my goal. Just building. Okay, we'll give these to the guys. They seem happy in there, so that's good. No one's phasing out or being naughty. Got a lot of these, perfect. Quantum ports. Perfect, okay. Get these out of there. Excellent. Let's have a party. Hello. Yes, I'm here for the meeting. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly how it goes. Sometimes I have like my... Like an actual mug? Like a... I guess a coffee mug. You could call it. But I never drink coffee at home. Like I, I don't drink coffee very often and when I do it's like Starbucks or something. So like I'll have my little coffee cup out. <laughs> I'll have water in it or like I had hot chocolate in it this morning. It's very uh... It's like cheating somehow. I don't really know how, but somehow I feel like I'm cheating the system drinking water. Okay, uh, this way. Thank you. Alright, let's see. Let's donate these guys and then check where we're at with those things that we want to build. Okay. 
love the sound effects in this game. Super fun. Oh my gosh, my wrist is getting sore because I have it in a weird position on the on the desk. I need to get one of those silly like mouse pads with the bubbles in it. I feel like that's what I need. Alright, let's look. Pebble Pebble's crying because Hero Hero has a treat toy. Like a toy with a treat inside of it. He's trying to get the treat out. <laughs> but he just like didn't want people to have it, so he's sleeping on top of it. But he's not playing with it, he's just sleeping on top of it. Very silly. Oh, okay. Apiary. Okay, so we've got the advanced pump and the advanced drill. I want to use the advanced drill, so let's do that for now. And it said to do that in the indigo quarry, I believe. Let's triple check. World. Oh, I do have the dry reef unlocked. Oh, I didn't know that's what the dry reef was. I thought the dry reef, dry reef was somewhere that had like current water. Oh, I need more pink plorts. That's okay. Here. Let me get you some of those right now. Perfect. Alright, here's some pink plorts, and then I can craft that, uh, that pump, I believe. Yeah, people, we're gonna craft the pump. I honestly, I might just need to take the toy away from here and give it to Pippa, which sounds mean, but he's asleep. He's being, he's being a little drama, you know? Okay, don't worry. I have enough pink plorts to make more of those, too. Got a lot of pink plorts right now. I know I need to get more food for you guys. I want to start my little chicken ranch over here because I don't really have another use for the chickens. And... Although, they're not really, like... I don't feel like they're economical to ranch the chickens, honestly. But you do not need to go out. You were just at the park. You're being- you're upset because Hero has a toy that you want. And I won't have it. And I won't have it. This <laughs> is when you need one of those most expensive your wrist. I know! That's how I feel. I stinking know it. I know it. I think there's like an odd onion patch over there or something. I don't know. My heartbeat. There it is. Back to it. Here's this. The foot and the rock port look pretty similar, I'd say. Just finished line art. Oh, sick! That's awesome! I'm so excited to see it. I honestly want to know what everyone draws. Why everyone draws cobalt sick? I don't know. That's a good question. I think I just emptied yours. Oh, you have a bunch more. Shoot. Alright. That's right, because I was feeding you a lot. <laughs> Okay. Back to back to back. I know. Yeah, irradiate me. Thank you. Not that I'm complaining, I just want to know where that started. No, I hear ya. I hear ya. I don't know why that is either. Why do I only have- what the heck am I doing? Why do I only have two rock boards? Okay. That was a wasted trip, but whatever. I gotta check my mail too. I see that I have mail up there. Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> Not water. Can I have water resources? Thank you. So odd onion is what I'd like to plant for the pinks. Alright, let's get going. Let's get collecting here. My one rock plort. Okay, well there's not even that many, so that's alright. I'm just gonna wait. Let's check on our honey plorts. I don't think I even collected these last time, so there's probably a lot. Yeah. That was a weird noise. I forget what makes that noise, but it's very odd. Alright, 50 there. 50 of these hunter plorts. Perfect, perfect. Laney Rose is here. Thank you for coming to the stream, Rain. Laney, thank you for coming to the stream. And thank you for using the little emotes. I love seeing them. Okay, I mean, I don't need to grab like three of these, but I'm heading over anyway, so why not? Why the heck not? Alright, let's bring these to the lab. Let's, at least for now, let's start a plot for the pinks of just heartbeats. Just until I get the odd onions so they have something to eat. 
Just running so smoothly. I wish I ran that smoothly IRL. Also, I saw that the tag for this stream is IRL. I don't know how that happened. I had a bunch of tags set and apparently it was like, no, your tag is IRL. It's like, all right, that works for me, I guess. That works for me. Oh, Kitsune's here. Thank you for coming to the stream, Kitsune. How are you doing? I, not to be creepy, but I saw on Steam that you were playing Slime Rancher the other day. So how, how are you liking it? I know you've played before, but are you like starting a new file? Or are you just coming back to some, an older game or what? How are you liking it? All right, let's, I really don't know why I went this way, but that's like fine, I guess. What's this way? Please tell me. Oh yeah, this is great actually. Okay, so I wanted to go to the reef and the indigo quarry, which is, I think I'm in the indigo quarry right now, right? Yeah, so where can I? Yeah, let's do it. So I think it said the drill liked to be here. Perfect. I think I just had two of them. Let's like triple check to be sure, but I think I just had two of them. Awesome. Okay, and now the dried up area is where we need to put more. I don't remember what it's called, the coral reef. I don't know, something dry. This is really like farther than I've ever gotten in this game. I had no idea you could do like the crafting and all that stuff. It's crazy. It's very, very crazy. Here we go. Oh, Claire Bogat, thank you for coming to the stream. Hello. Thank you so much. Good to see you or, you know, see your name, I guess. I started a new game because I wanted a new start. Heck yeah. I like, it, I like it a lot, except my game keeps crashing. Oh, really? That's weird. I wonder why. I have, when I first started, not when I first started. When I like started back playing again, mine crashed the first like two days it would crash and I don't know why. But at that time, Blade and I, or Jingo and I had been like, well, mainly Jingo, not really me, had been messing with the computer and like messing with the overclocking. So I thought that was it. Um, but it has crashed on me before, so I know how much of a bummer that is. Well, I don't know how far you've gotten in this game, but if you don't want spoilers, let me know and I'll like, I can work on something else. Yeah, it is fun. It is fun, except for the crashing. Except for the crashing. All right, let's, well, I'm wondering what to do now because we, I like we could, oh cool. I'm glad that it puts those there for you. That's nice. We could go to the desert. I don't know what to do in the desert, really. I guess I'll bring like some veggies and some fruit and just like see what up. See if anyone in the desert wants to eat them. And I'll bring a chicken too for meat. Of all our bases. Oop, ah. Hello? We'll have all our bases covered. I'm glad that you guys haven't just eaten all of these yet. Thanks, Pinks, for saving me a few. Appreciate that. And I hope my slimes don't get too angry. I fed all of them like a day ago and they're all in automatic feeders, so like they'll be all right, I think. But I just have this strong feeling that the face slime are gonna get all grumpy or something, so. Ugh, maybe I should go back. No, 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 no. Don't let the face slime control your life, all right? You don't have to go back to the ranch right now. They'll be fine. They will be fine, all right. Thanks, boost of confidence. It's so hard to pull them off the tree. They stick like that. It's crazy. It's crazy. I think I'm about as far as you are. Oh, okay, perfect. That sounds good then I will not worry about it. But if you, do, if you do see something and you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't gotten here yet. Um, you can tell me if you want. <laughs> I'll just like do something else. Cause there's, as you know, there's like a million and one things you can do in this game. So I don't mind that at all. Come to me chicken. Thank you. You too. Come on up chicken. I don't need your chick though. You're adorable and I don't need you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, spawn. Can I suck him directly from the spawn? Rebel, your fursona's eyes are pink, right? They are. They are. It's like she has constant pink eye. 
I'm just kidding. But they are pink. I'm not kidding about that part. Um, I thought I saw carrots. Maybe not. Oh well. Let's go. Why am I going this way? I don't think I need anything over here. Um, I guess I could go to the bridge this way. Let's do that. I suppose. I suppose. Still trying to readjust my wrist because they are just sore and I feel... I feel old, mainly. Yes, Pibba? No need to cry at the door for no reason at all, Pibba. Oh, he ate that chicken right out from under me, didn't he? Shoot. Sorry. Let's get through. Ooh, Taming Bell! Dulcet of this curious bell will calm the anger of any feral slime that hears it. That's cool. I like that. I probably need that out in the desert. Shoot. Oh, googly. Oh my god, I want those accessories so bad. You have no idea. I want them so much. They just take so much material that I don't have yet. Ugh. I love that the main function of this game is using a glorified leaf blower. Hey, hey. It's a leaf blower slash vacuum. Affection bot that removes these. Oh shoot, I didn't know you had to buy that separately. That looks like a microtransaction if I've ever seen one. My gosh. Um. Yeah, this game's awesome. I love this game so much. If you ever are like, I have, I don't know how much it costs. I think, I don't think it's like much. I think it's like 20 bucks or something. I don't know. Sorry if that's wrong. I bought it a long time ago. If you ever have some spare money and you're like, I'm gonna use this spare money to buy a game, buy this game. I'm telling you right, right the heck now to buy this game. Uh, oop, oop, oop. Don't do that though. Don't do what I just did. That was silly. Hi. Hello, friends. Hello. Light, dark, or hot pink? They're light. Yeah, Laney's got it. Thanks, Laney. And yes, if you're on the Discord, and actually, if you want to type in chat, if you type exclamation Discord, um, it'll give you the link to the Discord. If, if you'd like to join it and you're not joined already. If you're already joined, well, tough luck. You can't join again. I mean, you could. You could, like, make another account and join if you are that motivated, I guess. I don't even have the motivation for one account, so... You know. Treasure pile that I can't unlock yet. Okay, here we go. I think I kind of made it to where I wanted to go. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Great. Awesome. Headed out to the desert, so... I hope the slimes at my ranch aren't too mad, because this is like a really long expedition. Um, and I don't have teleporters yet, so I have to walk all the way here every time. And I can just feel their anger inside my bones. Uh, oops. Forgot to hit a switch. Here we go. Was anyone in stream right now not with us when we got to this part? Because I can kind of walk you through. Okay. Ha ha ha. Am I going to die right now? I'm going to be so upset. <sighs> I should stop blabbing and pay attention. My gosh. No, but if you want to know like what this area is and you don't know, let me know and I'll, I'll do my best to help. just kept going down. I thought that was like the goal here. Maybe not though. I've only been here a handful of times in my defense, but I get lost like every time. What is this? Oh, it's cool. I didn't notice that before. That's very neat. I want to go this way. This away. This away. Just gotta be a little quick about it, you know? Gotta be a little quick about quick about it. Yeah, thank you, Lainey. Thank you for posting the Discord. Appreciate it. Uh, this way? No, that's like the way out. We don't want that. We want to go in. Oh, here. It's fun. Join the chat. Do it up. It is, it is a fun time. How did you unlock this area? I haven't figured that out yet. Do you, do you want me to tell you or do you want it to be kept a secret? I can tell. I'm happy to tell you. I don't want to spoil it if you don't want me to. So just let me know. Um, 
my god. Why am I so bad at direction? I'm like mad at myself because I'm so bad at directions. Now I haven't been down here by these mushrooms before. These are cool. Can I build in here? No. This is a sacred land. We don't build here. Alright, stony hands. Um, yeah, I haven't been down to this little area before. Very fun. Just finished coloring. I'm gonna shade and add background. Oh my gosh, you're so fast. Shoot, well thank you so much. I, I'm jealous of how quick you are at drawing. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Spoil it. Feel like you've hit a wall. Oh yeah, absolutely. I will sp happily spoil. So when you're on your ranch, um, you're going to want to get into the indigo quarry, like over here. And once you get there, if you just kind of wander over to this area, I don't believe you need a key to get there. Um, but if you do need a key, let me know and I can help you find a gordo because the keys are in the gordos. And you'll get to like right here and you'll get to this little area where there's a big slime, I'm doing hand motions, but you can't see them. There's a big slime gate and it's got like smiling slimes lining it and some of them are glowing and some of them are not. Um, when you get to that point, if you look around that area, there's gonna be a bunch of just rock sculptures of slimes and they'll have their mouth open and each of them is a type of slime. So you have to get the plort from that type of slime and shoot it into their mouth. And then once you shoot all the plorts into the slime's mouths, the gate will open and that's how you get to this area. Did that make sense? If you're if you're playing, like message me on Telegram or like hit me up if you're actively playing and I can like walk you through again, but that is how to get there. You just go to that part of the indigo quarry. And that's how you do it. Not this way, I don't think. Oh maybe. And when you do get to that part, there is a tabby slime that IMO is really hard to find. So when you're looking for that last, and it's like the last slime you'll find. When you're looking for the tabby slime. <laughs> just um there's like a big staircase that leads up to the the slime gate walk up that staircase to the top and turn to the left and jump the tabby slime is like on a platform over there it frustrated me i ended up cheating to figure it out because i just couldn't find it Pippa, stop you were just at the park you don't have to pee Pippa just wants everyone to pay attention to only her okay real talk though how do i get back up there <laughs> where i was Yes, up there, please. I think I do have to go back in, maybe? Maybe, let's see. Okay, I'm in. Chickens for food. Pippa, hello. What can I do for, oh, is that a, oh my God, is that a Gordo over there? Well, shoot, I should have explored down here more. I did not find him last time. Well, here, buddy. Oh, you, you don't want it from this direction? Is your mouth... Oh, how do I get to him? Oh, it's even harder. Can I just... <laughs> can I just, like, glitch through you, buddy? Well, what the heck? How do I get over there? Shoot. Well, this just got more interesting. I didn't know there was a Gordo down here. Honestly, I think I have to go home and come back because all my slimes are going to be mad. But I don't want to do that. Truly, I don't. Uh, let's see. We'll just head back to the main entrance and try to get there again. Because I feel like it's a straighter shot. And I'm just making this more complicated than it needs to be. Let's see. Let's stink and see. That made sense? Okay, cool. Let me know if, that, uh, if you're able to get that. Because that is how to get to this area. I'm hitting a wall on how to get to the area that I was in the last time I played, if that makes you feel better. I don't know how I've forgotten, but I have. It's just a little confusing down here for me, you know? What do you have to say? Yeah, I did, I did know that, thank you. Okay, here we go. I think it's this over here. I hear you, Money Slime. I'm very sorry, but I'm busy right now. Just 
right in front of me. Alright. Cool. Okay, I got in this area before and it's not where I was last time. It's not where I need to be. Slimes, help me out, slimes. Where where can I go? And by slimes, I mean everyone watching. Oh, okay, well here's this. These strange glass doors are a good reminder that you can't always have both. Hit that switch all you like and both doors will never be open. Sometimes you gotta choose one path or the other and there's no way around it, but you know what? Either path is gonna make you hurt some for hurt some for want of walking the other. Life is filled with doors like these. That is really dark, and you know, I'm just here to play a game, so I don't I don't really need that in my life. Thank you, H. That was really great. Thanks for that. Appreciate that. Yeah, oh, let me just squeeze past you there. I know that's, that's literally exactly what I was thinking too. Like, ooh. Alright, hold on one second. I'm just gonna quickly see if- well, no, she's fine. I was gonna see if Jingo could take Pippa out, but she stopped whining. The dogs are so hard because, like, as hard as we tried to not let them, like, learn that every time they cry they get to go outside, they've learned it, so. It's hard to tell, like, when they're actually crying to go outside and when they don't actually need to. And that's on us, I guess. Maybe I just have to go over here. No? Yes. No, yes. How do I get up there again? I don't remember! Can I get up there? Maybe I'll just do that. I'll let it load up a little bit. Rebel tries to smash herself into this small gap. It's true. I thought it would work. I thought maybe it could just be like, oh, <laughs> here I am. But no, I don't know how to get to his head, actually. And that's a fact, Jack. Ooh, goodbye. Oh my gosh, please at least just let me get to like, the entrance to the desert so that I can deposit all my things there. I, f I feel very trapped. Very trapped. It's so hot in your room. Oh my god, can relate. It's so hot upstairs here. I haven't even been up there like at all today because I just don't want to deal with it. So I can relate and I'm sorry that you're dealing with that. That's awful. Okay, don't need that. I hear the tar music. I'm out of here. All right, Tars. I just don't need to deal with it today, okay? Okay, I'm almost stinking there. I just, I really just need to focus. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, stop doing that. Focus. Bring your gifts to the Gordo God of the desert. Okay, is it something over there that I need to be on? Or what? Hello. Here. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> um, Jingo, I'm at a part in the game that I beat the other day and now I forgot how I beat it and I'm stuck again. Thank you for your consideration. Ugh. What should be in the background? I just finished shading. Trees or a park or a waterfall or a city or the inside of a house. Those are all great ideas. Oh god, your AC wasn't on and it was 76 in the house. Yuck. It's disgusting. Disgusting. What does the change in music mean? That means that there are tar slimes nearby. So, tar slimes are when- so when one slime eats another slime's poop, it becomes a largo. Which is just like a big version of both slimes and it's adorable. But when that slime made of two poops eats a third poop, it becomes a tar, and those are really dangerous because they just destroy everything. Um, so the music means that there's tars nearby, so you want to be careful. The way to get rid of a tar, which is adorable, is to spray them with water. Super cute, super funny, makes me laugh. 10 out of 10. Okay, here we stink and go. We're gonna take this path, we're gonna get there, it's all gonna be fine. 
We're gonna end this madness. And then we gotta immediately go home. Okay, let's wait for it to charge up a little bit. God, our house got up to like, oh my gosh, when it was hot, it was getting up to 78. But it's a dry heat, <laughs> so it wasn't too bad. It was still, you know, disgusting, but it was better than in Minnesota. Because in Minnesota, we had to have our AC on just all the time. And super old AC unit, so it cost a ton of money to run because it just had to be on all the time. Because it was too weak to cool the house. I have many complaints about that AC unit. Okay, did it. Do it to it. How do I get up there? This is not the way that I came last time I was over here either. I don't know what I'm doing wrong this time, but I think I probably should go to the top of that and then come down. And then I really, really need to get back to the ranch. Make sure those face slimes aren't destroying everything. Actually, I could just go through here, right? I think so. Yeah. I think I gotta hit that button again. Button, where are you again? Over here? Cool. Alright, thank you. Am I going the right way? Yes. Kind of, wait, am I just in space? Where even am I? Why isn't this showing up on the map? Look at that big phase lemon tree, that's fun. Just made it, just, just barely made it. Okay, 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 we're almost there, you guys. We're almost, almost there. Okay. What do you have to say, H? What is it? The ghostly phase lemon tree that you may have seen were a real head scratcher for me for the longest time. I kept dreaming about ice cold glass of lemonade and the long summer days I spent exploring these ruins. Delicious stuff. But here's a trick. If you want those lemons, you gotta be willing to part with a fruit of your own. Give it a shot. Thank you, H. I, uh, I knew that because you taught me that, but thank you. Oh my God, did we make it? Here we are, top of the ruins, going the wrong direction again. Really stressing because the ranch is probably destroyed by now. <gasps> Woof, okay. This is where I want it to be. We're gonna drop all of our stuff here. Hopefully no one eats it while we're gone. We're gonna go to the ranch, we're gonna come back. Leave all my stuff here. Please nobody eat this, this is just my corner of stuff. Moral of the story, if you're going to eat poop, only eat one other type. Exactly. I think that's a principle we can all live by. Or get sprayed with water like a cat. Exactly, yes. Twofold, twofold, really. All right, lock in your answer now. Will my stuff stay in this giant heap that I put it in or will it be gone when I come back? Okay, farewell. I will see you tomorrow. Maybe even later today. Okay, let's very quickly feed everyone. Are these guys the cutest slime? So far, they may be my favorite slime. They're just so stinking cute. <laughs> and they like to be sprayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you guys were gonna be mad. It's fine. Alright, alright, alright. I know, I'm just getting plorts and I'm going to the, the lab and then I'm gonna feed everyone. It'll be alright. More. Okay, well, I'm I'm in good spirits because I see the phase the phase slime or the quantum slime haven't broken out of their holding pen and like destroyed the whole ranch. So that's positive. That's a win for me. <laughs> no, <laughs> just no. Oh, Cade's here. Hell yeah. What's up, Cade? Just got out of poop economics 101. <laughs> Can that be just our um? That should be the title of the stream from now on. Poop e poop economics. Cause that's all this game is, it's just poop back, poop back. Jingo, what do you say to that? He's not listening to me because he hates me. 
No, I'm just kidding. He has his headphones in. What? Jingo is doing dishes behind me like a very good person because I hate the dishes. He also hates the dishes, so just a really nice thing for him to do. So everyone, let's get a shout out in chat for Jingo for doing the dishes. Jingo! Thank you. Wait, I don't think he's doing the dishes actually. What are you eating? Jingo. What is that? What is that? Oh, I thought it was barbecue sauce. A big old pot. <laughs> Sorry, I thought he was doing the dishes, but he's eating ramen. Never mind. No applause, please. No applause. <sighs> Jingo, I had everyone in chat. Jingo. I had everyone in chat say thank you for doing the dishes to you because I thought you were doing the dishes, and then lo and behold, there you are doing eating ramen. I just don't want to street. Well, disturb away. You got a lot of. Uh, you got some bananas from Cade. You got a. It's bananas. You got a woohoo and a good job for doing nothing. I will still accept. He still accepts, so we're it's fine. Thank you. Thank you for the bananas and the and the good jobs and the woohoos. For eating spicy ramen that's so so hot. Also oh, so, so so ramen. Can you bring me a red vine maybe? I can't get out of my gamer chair. Do you ever drink water with red vines or, I guess, Twizzlers if you're that kind of person? I do, and it's great. Do you guys want to hear a story about Jingo? We'll get ready. One time, I... Well, let me read chat before the story because it's a long story. Well, it's not that long. I finished it. I am so excited to see it. After this stream, I will go check it out. Thank you so much. That was super, super nice of you to do. Thank you. Um, I can't even hear the word barbecue sauce without thinking of that Travis Scott meal commercial. Oh, it's so weird. I know. Oh my gosh, you're so right. I saw that they're doing another sponsored meal, like, right away after. I thought that was kind of weird, but I'm not, uh, I'm not the McDonald's sales team, so clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, wait, how did she get the lemon tree to work? Oh my gosh, it was a struggle. I, I had to fight it the last time we did this stream. Um, but eventually I got it to work by bringing another fruit and I had to stand there and like wait for the lemons to appear And when they finally did then I shot one out of the tree and it was it was good You look like uh, You shouldn't be out of the pen, dude Okay, um, what was I saying? What story was I even gonna tell? Oh the the Jingo story. Yeah Story of Jingo. So I used to I used to work at a farm and a lot of times when you work on the farm, you have to get there super early because that's when you have to do the chores. So I would get there. Honestly, it wasn't even that early. I know, like, if any of you worked on a dairy farm, you're gonna give me crap because I know dairy farm people are up at like four. Um, but I had to be up. At, I had to be there at 5:30. So I'd wake up, you know, go to the farm at 5:30. I'd get done at eight, but I was like exhausted and hungry. So one day, Jingo was over, and he came to the farm to say hello to me, which was super nice of him. Um, and then when he got there, he was like, hey, I got you breakfast. I got you a sandwich from Quick Trip. And I was like, oh my God, that is <laughs> the nicest thing. I was so hungry and I was so tired and it was so early. And I was like, oh my God, a sandwich from Quick Trip. Like, that's great. And I said, okay, where is it? And he's like, oh, I ate it. Who does that? Legitimately, number one, who eats someone else's food that they bought for them, but two, who tells them that they ate it? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I was so hungry. I was so hungry. I was so mad. Kitsune grew up on a dairy farm, and my dad never got there before 5, 5.30. Seriously, okay. I'm gonna call bullcrap on all the, the dairy people in college then that were like, dairy farmers get up way earlier than the horse farms. Thank you, Kitsune. Thank you. Because now I can uh, I can put it in perspective. Because yeah, for the horse farm, I usually got there at five thirty, so I would, like I lived super close by, so I would legit just get up at like five fifteen and just walk over there, or drive or bike or whatever, you know. You grew up on a family farm. That's cool. What are your guys' favorite farm animals? I'm gonna eat a licorice and then I'll be back.
Kitsune, I did not know you grew up on a dairy farm. That's super cool. Okay. My favorite farm animal, like, by a million miles, is a, is a sheep. I like horses. I don't really consider horses farm animals. I mean, I do, but I don't. What are you doing? What, who are you? How'd you get here? Um, yes. Sheep are my favorite. Sheep and giraffes are my two favorite animals. I love them so much. I like dogs too, but those are my favorites. So if you're ever like, dang, what kind of rebel, what kind of rebel, what kind of animal does rebel like? Just be like, just think for a moment and then remember that it's sheep. I love sheep. Okay, honey plorts, come on out. Cats are your favorite? That's a good choice. Cats are a great choice. I feel like cats and sheep are similar. And I know that's gonna sound weird, but let me explain. Cats and sheep are similar because both of them have these like stupid preconceived ideas about them that aren't true. Like people say that cats, you know, cats don't love their owners like dogs or cats can't learn anything like dogs and that's not true. And they say the exact same thing about sheep. They're like sheep are really dumb and sheep can't learn anything because they're sheep. And that's not true either. Sheep are very smart and they're very good at being sheep. So that's how I relate the two. Dang, you still live on a farm? I'm, I'm jealous. I love, I loved working on the farm. I mean, it's like, it's a toss up, right? Because there's pros and cons to each. I really liked working on the farm, um, but there were definitely cons to being there every day, like all day, every day. So that's super cool though. I don't know if I just want to sell these because I don't really want to go all the way back there, but I will if I have to. Um, over here. I gotta stock up everyone's food too. Toasters for the win. I wish I lived on a farm. I like cows and I like sheep. Those are great choices. I like cows too. I cows are so big. I never <laughs> this is dumb. Give me crap, farm people. I never knew cows were as big as they were. They're such big animals. It's crazy. I like goats too, but I just like sheep a little bit more. Sheep are a little bit more relatable. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna sell these because I don't want to walk all the way over there. And I'll feed everyone and we'll be golden. Do cats count as a favorite farm animal? You know, I'm gonna let it slide this time, but if you had to pick like a livestock animal... I guess cats are technically a farm animal. They're kind of like a staple of the farm. We were up at three to feed the animals, four to five to get ready for school, and then five to six picking up peacock feathers, and then at six we went to school. That sounds like a crazy life. Oh my gosh. Peacocks. Did you have a lot of peacocks or just a couple? Peacocks were always so cool. I never... I never realized how many people, like, have peacocks on their farm just as a farm animal. I thought peacocks were, like, some rare, you know, species. Jiggle, what are you doing? <laughs> Taking the biggest chug I've ever seen. Ruminants? Just ruminants in general? Yeah, fair enough. Ruminants are great. I like those, uh, odd toad ungulates. Personally, even toad are fine too. Oh, cute little gray slime, cute. Uh, what else? Where's my minty mint? There we go. Got here just in time. Some of them have rotted, but some of them have not, so. Golden. Ruminants are Rebel's favorite, that's true. <laughs> my favorites are just ruminants. Did you guys want to hear a giraffe fact? Okay, this is the exact thing that I would tell to the children that came to the zoo and were staring at the giraffes when I was at the giraffe stand. I would say, do you guys want to do... And you have to answer, you have to answer, I can't respond. I would say, do you guys want to do some trivia? Do you guys want to do some trivia about the giraffes? I want to know what you know about the giraffes. So do you, do you want to do the trivia? Do you want to do it? Let's see. Back to the ranch we go. Yes, you want to do the trivia? Okay, okay. So, how many... We got a few questions. So how many bones do you think a giraffe has in its neck? So I'll give you a hint. So we, people, we have seven. We have seven bones, they're called vertebrae, in, in our neck. But how many do you think giraffes have? They got a really long neck, right? How many do you think they have? I'm, I'm rusty on my children voice, I'm sorry. It's been a long time. Too, 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 too long. Um, oh my gosh. A 
couldn't live on a farm for one reason. There wasn't any high-speed internet. That's a very valid reason. That's completely valid. Oh my gosh, I didn't even consider that, honestly. Your thing's glitching again? Shoot, you had almost 30? Oh my gosh, oh, what am I doing? Stop. <laughs> That's insane to have almost 30. I can't believe that. That's nuts. I was shooting these into the wrong holder. What's the giraffe trivia? It's how many vertebrae do giraffe have in their necks? So we as people have seven, but giraffes have huge necks. How many vertebrae do you think giraffes have in their neck? Again, we as people, we have seven in our neck. Let me give you guys time for that one. Let's see. All right, so I'm seeing 70, 73. Kitsune and Radish are saying it's the same as people. They're saying it's seven. They're saying that there are seven vertebrae in the neck. I hope seven is the right number too. I can't. I think that's right. They have the same amount as people. They're just really long. It's why they bend down to drink like that. Heck yeah. So three of you got it right. You win. You win giraffe trivia. You get to feed the giraffes a carrot. Kudos. Here's a... That's my kudos to you. Good job. It was seven. It's seven. They have the same number as people. Isn't that nuts? They have seven vertebrae. They're just gigantic vertebrae. They're just really, really big. Another fun fact that Radish already said is that they're ruminants. So just like cattle and sheep and goats, they have to chew their food, partially digest it, and then like half vomit it back up. Um, and it goes all the way up their neck and then they chew their cud. It's crazy. It's crazy. Giraffes are great. Why'd you name all the peacocks that? <laughs> and yes, they have to bend down and drink like that. Exactly. That's exactly right. Great job, everyone. You, you all win <laughs> giraffe trivia for the day. All right. You ready for giraffe trivia number two? I got lots. With their 12 inch purple tongues. Radish, you just answered the next trivia question. <laughs> dang, dang. If they had more, their necks would be flopping around. They do, they barf into their mouth, chew it, swallow it up. All right, Lainey Rose, Radish, and Kitsune. Kudos, kudos, you won that round. So the next round, Radish already answered this um, partially, but we'll do the other half. So giraffes have a tongue that is purple and it is up to two feet long, which is scary. <laughs> two feet long, purple tongue. Um, so why do they have a tongue that is purple? Why isn't their tongue pink? And I'll give you a hint. It's that if you actually, when they're like taking food from you, if you kind of tease them a little bit and have them reach their tongue really far out, um, the backs of their tongue are pink, but the front of their tongue is all purple. So why, why is that? If you're sick of my child voice, please let me know. I. I get sick of it too. <laughs> and we will we will go back to adult <laughs> being vulgar voice. All right, giraffes are girls, they pick their nose. Everyone picks their nose, Chloe. It protects from the sun and no sunburn. You guys are <laughs> too good at this game, that's true. Yeah, it protects them from sunburn. That's fantastic. Dang, it's like, it's almost like you're not <laughs> eight-year-old children at the zoo. That's super smart, though. You guys are absolutely right. It protects their tongues from sunburn. I thought that was heckin' cool. Very, very cool. Very cool stuff. So no sunburn, and that is why. And evolution, you know, you're right, too. It is evolution, because the ones that didn't have purple tongues probably got sunburned, and they were like, ow, that hurts, I can't eat, and now I'm gonna die. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but yes, no sunburn is absolutely the right answer. Great job. Great heckin' job. I was gonna say the sun. Yeah, no, Lainey, you weren't wrong. It is evolution. And I believe you, uh, Pepper, that you were gonna say the sun. I trust you. I trust you. It's also super thick to protect from the thorns on acacia trees. Yeah! Dang, I should hang out with all you guys more often. You have great giraffe knowledge. That's what I base all my friendships on, is the level of giraffe knowledge. So, you all, you all pass. Good job. Good job. Just read that yesterday, seriously? That's awesome. What were you doing reading about giraffes yesterday? Okay, let me think. Does anyone have any giraffe trivia that they want to share? If you don't, I'm gonna move on to sheep trivia and I know Radish already knows all the answers, so you guys are gonna get, you guys are gonna get burnt. And they can eat two inch long thorns, no problem. That's nuts, that's so nuts. Why do they have long necks? That's a trivia piece. I like animals and I learn about them a lot. That's great. I also love animals and I like to learn about them too. So I like just like random fun facts. 
Yes, four chambered stomachs, rumum, <laughs> rumum, <laughs> rumen, reticulum omasum, and avomasum. That's a fun fact too that I, <laughs> I get way too <laughs> heated about. Just stupid things to get heated about that don't matter to anyone else. Um, is that it's a four chambered stomach. They don't have four stomachs. No one has four stomachs, guys. No one has four stomachs, even though Steve told you that cows have four stomachs. Giraffes drink like a vacuum cleaner. They pump water into their throat. Giraffes are cool. That's a good fact. That's a good fact. They give birth standing up to help jolt their babies into life, and their babies drop six feet when they're born. Humans are weak. Humans... Human babies are just weak little poops, and giraffe babies are strong. Is the moral of the story. I always forget how to get over there, like, a reasonable way, and then I end up just backing over there. Can I get there from here, actually? I feel like I can. But it's pretty dark, and I don't want to die, so... I guess I'll just go the proper way. Gotta run. Let's go. This is fun. Let's just do streams where we talk about animal facts and we can share facts with each other and learn new things. Sorry for wasting all our time going that way, fam. Let's go the other way. I know, I know, I know, I know. I went the wrong way. Here I go. I'm leaving. Oop, I got stuck in that tree. I went a little too crazy, a little too fast. Alright, let's see. Da, 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 da. My cousin ra raised a sheep named Waffles on our farm. She took it to the state fair and won a purple ribbon. I love that. That's awesome. That's so cool. Do you know what kind of sheep it was? Or can you tell me what it looked like and we can all guess together? That's super cool though. I, I love that people that she was able to show the sheep to in the fair. That's really fun. Okay, here we go. Just posted here on Discord. Yes, thank you so much. I'm super excited to check it out after the stream and I will I will look at it then. Thank you so much again. I'm really excited to see it. Alright, here we go. Oh, Kitsune, if you're watching, this is the path to get to that new area. So, I'm gonna go to that new area now. I can show you. Ugh, this part I always hate. Okay. Unlike how horses eat with their lips, ruminants use their tongues, like weird fingers to wrap their food around and pull it in. That's a cool fact too. I like that. Oh, treasure pod. Wait, I don't have any room for it. Why did I do that? I have to wait for that treasure pod. Yeah, so ruminants are what are, or I'm sorry, horses are what are called grazers. They're grazers in that they rip up the grass and, or I'm sorry, wait, <laughs> I'm gonna get this backwards and you're all gonna make fun of me, but it's fine. Let me take a drink. Horses are grazers, and I want to say, oh my gosh, I don't want to get this wrong. Either sheep or goats are browsers. Which one is a browser? Because the grazers eat, the grazers pick the grass off like scissors, and the browsers just eat everything. So I want to say the, I think, and then giraffes are browsers too. Um, someone will tell me, one of you will tell me, <laughs> remember. Now what about rock facts? Those are pretty cool. Um, what's up? <laughs> There's a rock that's name sounds like a swear word. That's that's my rock fact. I don't know anything about rocks. I don't know anything. Runins have no top teeth. It. <laughs> it's a weird plate that allows for grinding. Heck yes, ruminants do not have top teeth. Which is crazy. So if anyone's ever like, a sheep bit me. You know, they're not lying, but they're being a baby about it. It doesn't hurt that bad. No, I'm just kidding. It can. It can hurt. Their dental pad. It's like just rock hard and and weird. People are over 86% monkey. Nah me. Nah me. No, I'm just kidding. Go to browsers. Thank you. I was did I just like backtrack? What am I doing? I felt like I was going a little bit crazy. It was that thing where like you think about something too much and it's like, wait, that's not right, is it? But it, it is right, you're just thinking about it too much. Gotta go grab food. Well, it's cool. If you want to come back. If not, thank you for coming to the stream, Lainey. Good to see you. Okay, here we go. 
Giraffes are browsers and horses are grazers. Yes, thank you. Just having a very brain fart moment, so. We're all on the same page. Am I going the right way yet? No? Cool. Everything's going well so far. I was like, Kitsune, watch me go to this new area. And you're like, yeah, okay. Don't even know my way around, but it's fine. Whatever, I can blast over here. Um, I think it's like up, up. <laughs> I think it's up. Genuinely. What is this bone? Oh, I guess it's like a structure. I thought it was like a rib cage from something. Cat tongues are like sandpaper to help them clean themselves and get water. Another reason that they're like sandpaper is so that they can lick uh, bones of carcasses and get the little bits of meat off the bones. Animal facts. Cats don't always land on their feet if they fall from a high place and are able to flip they'll land on their feet. But if you were to throw a cat, don't. It wouldn't land on its feet. That's, oh, that's a scary fun fact. Please don't throw your cats. I think that's always a good bit of advice is just <laughs> please don't throw your cats. But that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, I see some like raised thing, probably like where I just was. I wonder if there's a treasure pot up here. That'd be cool. Unless you get to their back teeth, like the time I got bit by a sheep and it smashed my nail, bruised it, cracked the nail in the cuticle, and made my finger bleed when I was holding them for a vet and couldn't react. Oh my god. I am so sorry that that happened to you. That sounds absolutely awful. God. Was it babe? It was probably babe. Um. I... I can't say- I don't think I've ever been, like, bitten by a sheep harshly enough that it's, um... What am I doing? Why am I not going, like, the proper way to get to these places? I'm just, like, being crazy about it. Being too crazy about it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been, like, properly bitten by a sheep, thankfully. I've been bitten by a rabbit and that hurt, like, heck. It was painful. They have very strong molars. Yeesh. Yikes. That sounds super painful. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna go... <laughs> Another day wasted, hooray, because I can't get my crap in a bunch. Can't get it together. Let's do sheep facts next. Does anyone want to do sheep fun facts? I know Radish can back me up on these. Your goat's like Cheerios and Fruit Loops, cute! That is adorable. She got me just perfectly where my finger went to her back teeth. Oh, it was one of the 86ers. Those guys are nasty! They were naughty little buggers. Oh my gosh. The place I'm going now does not have- Oh! <laughs> this is where we wanted to go. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I just struggled for a very long time to get here. Kitsune, if you're watching, this is the gate I was talking about. You just, like, put them in these little guys around here. I'll, I'll come back here again and show you, like, the proper way to get there when I'm not. I can't talk and play because I lose- <laughs> I lose where I'm going. I guess that's the fun of it, though. It's fun for me. Um, I don't know anything about sheep except that they're floofy. Well, let's do sheep trivia. Here is sheep trivia. Sheep trivia number one is can a sheep remember a human face and can a sheep remember a sheep face? Can it remember either of those things? Well, the answer may surprise you, so... Place, place your bets now. Place your guesses now. Lucky slime. And uh, we'll go through the answer together. <laughs> yes, they can. That is the correct answer, is yes, they can. Radish, you can answer these ones because I know you know the answers because we talk about them together. <laughs> I mean, you can answer if you want. If everyone else is stumped. Um... The answer is yes, they can. They can recognize sheep faces and human faces. My next question is how many human faces can a sheep recognize? Tell me how many human faces a sheep can recognize. Ooh, and for bonus points, how long? How long can they recognize and remember a human for? And I'm a little fuzzy on the how long they can remember for, but I do know like a minimum amount of time. I don't... I don't remember offhand the maximum, but I do remember, like, around what it was. Which means I gotta brush up. Shoot. Okay, uh, where 
Where is that little doohickey thingy? Where's that little latch? Latch? No. No, I went too far back. Oh, there it is. Oh, the Opaka Pack's coming! Thank you, Opaka Pack! Welcome! Welcome to the stream. We are we are just knee deep in fun animal facts, so come on in and play trivia with us. So right now we are doing so thank you for coming again. I appreciate it. Um So we learned we learned that sheep can remember human faces, but the question in the trivia question, so you can answer in chat, is how long, how many, how many human faces can a sheep remember? And how long can a sheep remember those faces for? So one more time, how many human faces can a sheep remember? And how long can it remember those faces for? And after this question, it's just like chat fun facts. So like share your favorite animal fact. And that's that's what we're here for. We love animal facts. Okay, let me read chat and see what we're saying. <laughs> um, 16, that's a good guess. 16 is a good guess. And you guess two years for how long they can remember it. I know Radish is just like grinding their teeth because they know the answer. <laughs> Radish and I are sheep fact buddies. So, great guess. It's not correct. So sheep can remember... Let me... Neighbors love me. Sheep can remember up to 40 human faces. 40 of them. 40 people. That's not... It's 40 human faces. So if you're nice to a sheep, um, you could be one of the 40 that it chooses to remember. Um, but... They remember 40, and they remember them for, I believe, this, I don't, I believe, they remember them for up to seven years. Seven years, seven years! It's so crazy! God, I love sheep so much! Up to 40 human faces for seven years, and they can recognize them by photos, and they can recognize their buddy sheep too, so... If you show a sheep a photo of a person, and you give it like a positive stimulus after, like you give it a, a newton or a treat, um, it'll consistently pick that human face when you're showing them different pictures of human faces. And if you show a sheep a picture of its buddy, um, it can calm the sheep down because it thinks its buddy's with them. Fun sheep facts. Mm, and opacles are pseudo-ruminants. I did not know that. Radish, can you give us an education on pseudo-ruminants? Because I didn't know that. Opaka pack, thank you for coming to the stream. I hope you, I hope you have fun with our animal facts. We'll see if they want to, but I just asked Radish to share an opaca fact with us. Because I know nothing about opacas. And if you guys have any fun animal packs, please share them in chat. Or if you want to do trivia on a specific animal, post it in chat and we can do animal trivia, which is just where anyone in chat who knows anything about that anima can... Animal? <laughs> anima? It's Anima City can uh, share some facts that they know. But thank you for coming to the stream. Um, sorry, I can do a quick intro. My name is Rebel, and I'm drinking some water real quick. And my name is Rebel, and the game we're playing is Slime Rancher, which is a really, really chill, fun game. Um, highly recommend it to anyone who likes games. <laughs> um, you pretty much just vacuum up slime, and as I believe Cade called it, it's just Poop Econ 101. So you feed the slime, they poop out what are called plorts, and then you sell the plorts on the stock market. Which sounds like a weird concept for a game, and it is, but it's insanely fun. So, Slime Rancher, everyone. We're in the desert right now. Okay. Oh, hello? Oh! Oh! Hi! What do you like to eat? I haven't seen- I've never been to the desert before. This is all new. Uh, do you want to be my friend? Stony Hen, I'm sorry, you're, you're leaving. You want to be my friend? Come here! Come here! Dervish slime. Twists and turns all day and spirals all night. Heck yes. Unless you shear them, then they don't recognize them right away and freak out. That is true too. Yes, sheep. They don't. When we would shear our sheep, they would... Radish and I. They would not recognize their buddies and they would be like, mm -hmm. I'm a little sus of you. You're pretty skinny. <laughs> you weren't before. I'll pack in my bags. I'll pack in my bags. That's a great alpaca pack. Fact. Welcome Alpaca Pack to the Alpaca Fact Pack stream. I don't know what to do with you. What about water? Do you like water? No. Do you like a fruit? No. How about a veg? No. One last try? How about a chicken? No. And how about a slime? No. I gotta keep him. Keep him close. 
So, seeing all these chickens, and this little slime, this little guy. Do you know anything about cassowaries? I know that they're terrifying. <laughs> I, I don't know anything about cassowaries. Does anyone in chat know anything about cassowaries to share? Because I would love to, love to give some facts, but I don't know anything about them. I know they look like dinosaurs. That's not really a fact, that's more of an observation. I think I'm going the wrong way. I get really lost in this game. I know it's silly, but it's like, I don't know where I'm going half the time. Pseudo-ruminants mean they don't have all the chambers of the ruminant stomach, but instead digest with a cecum, which is a hindgut fermentation way of digesting grass like horses. That's a really fun fact. Alpaca facts. Thank you, Radish. Oh, and they don't regurge. That's cool. Pseudo-ruminant. Shoot. Dang, college, you didn't teach me about pseudo-ruminants. You told me that all that mattered was cattle. They are raised by their dads. Cassowaries are? That's cool. That's cool. Why? Why are they raised by their dads? I mean, I guess I shouldn't have to ask that. Like, why is any other animal raised by their mom? But that's super cool. Fun fact about them? I don't know what they are. They are this big, <laughs> scary dinosaur bird. Sorry, cassowary, cassowary fan. I don't mean to, I don't mean to be rude to your cool birds, but they're they're big, scary dinosaurs, is what they are. Llama spit is made partially of digesta. Ew, that's that's gross. Not gonna lie, it's pretty gross. Oh, what is this? Look at this little area. Pine pineapples, maybe. What, do you want some water? My solution to everything is water, and it never works. It's <laughs> a solution. Well, 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 I see this big gordo down here. So gordo slimes, you feed them, feed them, and eventually they blow up and give you gifts. Bakrar, yes, exactly, Bakrar. Large flightless birds, yes. Pretty much a scary penguin. No, I'm just kidding. All right, what do you got for me? Little babies. They just kind of pop and become little babies and also crates and stuff that have like loot in them. That's what they are. Come here, little babies. Let's see what's in these loot crates. Oh, and a key, yes. The keys just kind of like unlock new areas. Exactly what you'd think, I guess. Okay, so we've got all this fun new fruit. We've got some ornaments. I'm gonna ditch my chickens for now. Sorry, chickens. Yes, Bakarar, exactly, exactly. Oh, I'm trying to think, I feel... <laughs> I feel like the majority of my knowledge is based in sheep and giraffes. <laughs> um, hi, Pippa. What are you doing? What are you doing, Pippa? What are you? Spiral steam. Okay. Silver parsnip and a bunch of carrots. I don't have enough inventory space for all this stuff. I guess I'll just keep some of it here for now and come back for it eventually. Oh, there's an H. H is like my guide down here. The glass desert is a fascinating place, but you need to be on guard. At any moment, a dangerous solar anomaly can occur that will cause all heck to break loose for a spell. You'll know it when you see it, and when you do, head for cover or risk burning your tukus. Oh my god. This is supposed to be a fun slime game. I don't know about that. I only know about them because of a song called Songbird Symphony. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. Oh, shoebill storks are also scary flightless birds. They are also scary and also gigantic what's with these animals being way bigger than expected oh hello are you just what are you doing down here oh look at all this this is so cool in here i've never been to this part of the game before so it's very new and exciting a key but i haven't really explored much i don't i mean I, oh my god stop i guess i could do a key here Thanks, Slime Key. Oh, whoa, what? Look at this place, it's crazy. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Look at that, it's nuts. What do these do? I gotta figure out what these do. Cause I have not figured it out yet. Do you take like a chick for some reason? Sorry, I didn't mean to like throw that. No. <laughs> Come back, please. I don't know what you are, but I need you. Oh my god. Game, not song. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. That's super cool. What do I know about birds? 
Did you know that owls are silent when they fly? And the reason for that is so that their prey cannot hear them. They like to sneak up on prey and stalk it, um, as opposed to falcons, which kind of just saunter on in loudly. <laughs> Another cool bird fact is that they can see UV, right? I always second guess myself because I don't want to give someone wrong information, but they can see like mouse urine trails because when mice walk around, they're just like constantly urinating. Um, so the birds can see that and track it to find mice to eat. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, I'm gonna head home to the slime. Here we go. Here we stink and go. Well, thank you so much for the follow. Um, is it J-House? If you want me to call you something else, please just let me know. But thank you so much for the follow. Super appreciate that. Um, mice <laughs> pee so much, it's gross. They do pee a lot. They have a lot of pee to share. Well, hopefully not share. Just give. Don't share it with them. Yeah, I want to go home. <laughs> let me go home, please. Game, may I please go home? Game says, maybe. We'll see. But I love mice. Mice are cool. Yeah, 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 they are. Did you know that you can... I'm, I'm sure you guys know this because I'm sure you guys are mice and rat people, but you can tickle rats, they found out, and then they emit a little laugh that we can't hear, but you can record it and you can tickle them and they like it. And it's so stinking cute. Oh, you need special water from those fountains. Really weird. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I feel like the desert is like beyond where I where I want to play right now. Like I'm still figuring things out in the main game, let alone the desert. Okay, back to the main game. So I kind of want to just like stay focused here for a little while and where is that teleporter actually? Cause I kind of just want to teleport home now and was it in there? Did I miss it? No, it's out there. I want to go care for my, my babes at home. You know, owls don't turn their heads, can't turn their heads 360. They can only do 180, but they turn their head the other way so fast you can't see it. I didn't know that. That's cool. That's a really good fact. Thank you for sharing. I genuinely didn't know that. That's really cool. All right, slime on the ranch. Here I come. Here I stink and come. Rodents will often eat their babies if freaked out. That is a, a not so fun, fun fact for everyone. It is true though. I don't remember the exact rate, but hedgehogs eat something like 50% to like 75% of their babies usually. And I know a lot of rodent species, if the baby yells, if the baby's like, eep, it'll eat it. Because it's like, we don't risk, we don't risk that around here. So quiet babies only for rodents. This is part of the, that is part of the main game. I know it is, I know it is. But I like, I don't know what to call it. I guess like the part of the game that you have access to right away, like without having to do anything special. I'm not even like super proficient in that yet. So I wanna make sure that I'm, you know, that I know what's going on before I venture into these unknown lands. But you know, that's just how it be sometimes, unknown. Also hamsters are adorable, but little demon creatures that we find living together and then the next minute one of them has attacked and eaten the other. Oh my god, really? Hamsters. Chill, dudes. That's crazy. I didn't I didn't know that about hamsters specifically. That's a lot. <laughs> I know that they look like demons when they yawn too. <laughs> they look very scary when they yawn. Main game isn't story. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Main story, okay. I believe you and I accept that, but I'm still going to I'm still going to try to stick to this area. It's too overwhelming. Let's see. Fun fact about red rabbits is that their teeth continue to grow for their entire lives, so they have to grind them down by gnawing on hay or wood or other chewable things. Same for like a ton of rodents, I guess. Um, and if they don't have things to chew on, they can have something which, called, which is called malocclusion, which is where their teeth, usually their bottom teeth, keep growing too much and then they're not able to eat anymore and they can get really sick um, because they didn't have the proper proper grinding down of their teeth. So you can prevent that by either grinding them themselves, yourself, or giving them things to chew on, which is why they need things to chew on in their, in their cages a lot. All right. I'm gonna put these guys... Oh, maybe I'll mix them with the um, phase slime. That'd be kind of fun. What do you eat, by the way? Let's learn about them. Dervish slime. 
You like prickle pears, which I saw there and I didn't pick up and I'm sorry about that. You have not gotten to that part of the story yet. Really? Okay. All right. I didn't know there was more to the story. I thought it was just like, get the slimes, keep on living. It's a swinging, whirling bundle of energy in slimy form, commonly found in the glass desert, cruising along its dust dunes at high speed atop little whirlwinds. One thing is for certain, whenever it needs to go, it gets wherever it needs to go, it gets there in a hurry. They can cause total chaos if not cared for properly. In addition to frequently riding atop whirlwinds at high speed and collecting objects along the way, a highly agitated slime can produce a giant cyclone of air. There's little you can do other than brace for the chaos. They give turbines and generators an extra boost. Well, I do want to keep this, but I don't have his favorite food yet, so I think I'm going to make him a little pen over here for now. Um, and I think they eat fruit, so I'll just give him some, like, other fruit for now. Sorry that I don't have your favorite food, buddy. But I'll put you in here. I'll give you some phase lemons, because I have a million phase lemons now. Hopefully you can eat those and they don't phase away. I've seen hamsters lunge at people's faces before. Oh my god, scary. <laughs> it's a terrifying image. I don't like that at all. I had a... When I worked at the zoo, there was a kinkajou there. Her name was Boo Boo Kinkajou. And when she was a baby, I would handle her for like, um, she was an ambassador animal. So I would handle her for presentations and stuff. And then I went to college and I came back because I would work there in the summers and in the winter when I was on break. And she hated me. Like everyone else could go into her enclosure and like handle her and clean her up. And I would go to go in there and she would screech at me. She hated me. She grew up and just like, I don't know if it's because I wasn't in her life or what, but it was really scary because kinkajous do a thing where they lunge at you, um, but they'll do a false lunge. So they'll, they have a prehensile tail. They'll wrap their tail around like a stick or something, and then they'll lunge at you and catch themselves with their tail. So they like get close and then they swing back. Terrifying experience, would not recommend. Um, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Some boars have the same problems where if they don't wear down their tusks, they can grow through their skull into the top of their jaw. That is terrifying. That's insane. It's insane. Speaking of weird teeth problems, did you know a narwhal's, which <laughs> genuinely, I forget that narwhals exist. And then when I remember, I just like, can't believe that they exist. A narwhal's horn is actually a tooth that grows through their skin and pierces their skin and becomes the horn. It's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Tortoises can feel when you pet their shells and some like shell massages, massages. That's the cutest fact we've heard, I think. That's a really fun fact. Heck yeah. Bradish with the fun facts. What animal? I feel like I, I have a ton of like useless information about, about different animals. And then when someone's like, tell me some of the information. I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it's cool. It's cool. Um, how about tigers and other big cats? Did you know that tigers and other big cats, some other big cats, will kill their prey by biting it, and then they actually have a nerve in their canine teeth that can sense the pulse of the animal that they're trying to kill, so they can bite it on a pulse, have it bleed out faster, and die faster. That was maybe like the coolest thing I ever learned about big cats. I thought that was insane. Absolutely insane. I wonder if little cats have that. <laughs> I don't know. Why did I only collect like this many ports? I'm not, not paying attention. Shoot. Gotta get back to the ranch ASAP and not make our trip wasted. I know I'm getting irradiated. It's fine. I'll be all right. Some slimes just irradiate you and that's fine. What else? cat sense with their whiskers. A lot of you probably know that if you have cats or your cat people that they sense with their whiskers. So if they're like trying to see if they can fit through a doorway, they'll feel it with their whiskers first to make sure. I love tortoises. I had a pet, but one day when we were hanging out in the garden, I turned my head and she booked it. Oh, sad. That's super sad. Sorry to hear. That is really sad. Rebel, do you play Among Us? I do play Among Us. I stream it once in a while, 
but honestly i kind of just like to like play it rather than stream it um i like to be able to talk to chat in streams and it's super hard to talk to chat when you're playing among us with other people because it's like everyone's talking and i don't know i think a lot of people play it where they'll talk to chat like uh, when it's the quiet times for everyone else, which is cool. That's, that's one way to do it. Um, but I've just not had much luck streaming it. But I do play it. It's very fun. I like it a lot. Yeah, me, her, and Finn played a lot. It's true. Yes, if you join the Discord, um, I do pop on Discord calls sometimes and play it in the Discord. Depending on, depending on my mood. Maybe we'll play it tonight if I'm... What time is it? It's not that late. Maybe we'll play it tonight. It's a fun one. Actually, gonna one second. I'm gonna text Jingo and see if you can let Pippa out because she's crying. Um, Pippa's crying. No one's surprised because she cries all the time. Can you do that again? Pippa cries. Drama. Sometimes I just text Jingo even though we live in the exact same house, and sometimes I just don't want to walk upstairs. You know. Actually, all the time, I don't want to walk upstairs. I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> Kane, what is that? Oh, it's a bird. It's fun. I wish Twitch emotes could be a little bit bigger. I am blind as a bat, and I have trouble seeing them. But, you know, that's life. I want to play. Heck yeah! Join the Discord. Um, I, I'll post in there when I play. I usually... I feel like I play at least, like, once a week, usually. And if I'm not playing there, I'll play in Finn's Discord, and I can link you to that after the stream, too. Yeah, that game is awesome. It's super, super fun. Very good game. The good old Judy Hobbs emote. That's it. Why do I always think it's a bird? Kate, I, I, every time you post it, I'm like, what is that bird emote? <laughs> Without fail. Looks like a hawk. Oh, I just thought of another giraffe fact. It's that if a giraffe kicks you, the force of its kick is enough to stop your heart. So, don't don't mess with giraffes. Like that one lady did at the zoo a couple years ago. Remember that story? Where she tried to sue the zoo because she like jumped two fences and a giraffe hurt, like minorly hurt her, which it could have killed you and you jumped two fences because you're an idiot. I could go on, but I won't. But giraffes are dangerous. They're awesome and dangerous. Birds can't taste the capsicum and hot peppers and can eat spicy food with no effect. That's a great fun fact. I didn't know that at all. That's cool. This isn't really a fun fact, but just something I learned and I didn't know before. It's that lizards have, like, very specific preferences for the food they eat. I always assumed, like, oh, you give a lizard food and it'll, you know, eat it if it wants to, but no. Toothless, my lizard, he's very picky about what he eats. Some days he likes kale, and then a month later he's like, not feeling it. He's like a toddler. A little scaly toddler. Fifty. Giraffe kicks can kill a full-grown lion. Yes, they can. It's so scary. Lion's playing it real risky, but it's gonna get a big reward if it gets a giraffe, but whew, that's scary. Do you know anything about Lyrebird? No, I don't even know what that is. I, I'll i be quite honest, I don't know that much about birds. I'm, but, I, oh my gosh, I wish Nomu and Pit were here because they are the bird masters. Tell me, do you know anything about the Lyrebird? Tell me what it is. I know about the secretary bird, I think they're cool looking. And they like, bang snakes on the ground to kill them before they eat them, but that's my, it's like a small bit of my bird facts. I know something is about flamingos. Just your classic zoo birds. <laughs> They are some of the greatest bird mimics. That's cool. I didn't know that. Very cool. Oh my gosh. Ah, getting blown up. What's happening? Cuckoo birds have such a scary call. It's so eerie. Really? Ooh. Ooh. I don't like, like, mockingbirds or, I guess, macaws or anything where they can mimic and it sounds just like a person. Mimic human sounds like car beeps, gunshots, spring tones, and other birds. Whew. I don't like the gunshots, <laughs> Gotta be honest, that's very scary. 
Giraffes may kick hard, but I kick harder. Damn, Cade. You better not tell that to a giraffe. <laughs> oh my god. A lyrebird is one of two species of ground-dwelling Australian birds that compose the genus Minura and the family Minuridae. That is great. Tell me more. I would love to learn more. Lyrebird. Pippa? Why? Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought Pippa was crying because she had to go out. Let me just quick take a picture and send it to the Discord of why Pippa's crying. Hold on. Pippa, are you crying? Let's see what Pippa's crying about. It's gonna be a blurry picture because I'm far away. Pippa? Do you have tears? Hold on, let me get a good picture of Pippa and why she's crying. One second. Okay, sorry. So, <laughs> Pippa was crying because she has a treat toy. Again, the puzzle toy that the treats fall out of when you play with it. She's crying because she doesn't want to play with it anymore and she wants me to take the treat out for her. So she's literally <laughs> just laying in the middle of the living room floor, crying with a, <laughs> with a toy in her mouth. That's very Pippa of her. She is very dramatic. Imagine looking for a charger for your phone, but your Chromebook uses the same charger. I agree because when I when I first got my work laptop, like like last job, like a while ago, I was like, oh my god, it uses a USB-C charger. I can just charge my phone and my laptop with the same thing. I thought it was crazy. <laughs> I feel like we've become the Nat Geo stream. It's true. It's true. We could do runs one stream a week where we just like bring up Wikipedia and we just pick random animals to learn facts about. I'd be game for that. That sounds like a good stream to me. That's pretty much all I know. Those are really good facts though. Thank you for sharing that. I feel like Australia has some of the coolest wildlife too, so that's super cool to learn about that bird. Pippa, do you have tears? She does. She has tears. She always has tears about something. We go to the dog park, she cries and she begs to go to the dog park, and then we get there and she stands next to me the whole time and doesn't play with any other dogs. That's also a classic Pippa move. Yeah, tears, <laughs> exactly, Kate, that's what Pippa looks like all the time. I think Hero's upstairs sleeping with Jingo, or at least laying in bed with Jingo like a normal dog, and Pippa's down here crying. I use a sea charger too, yeah, totally. It it sounds so silly, but it like blew my mind. I didn't I didn't know that was a thing that existed, you know? like. Oh, laptops and my phone use the same charger. Bizarre. Play the saddest song of the world's smallest violin, Pippa. I don't know, you can probably hear her. She's playing with it now that I went and like, <laughs> I took it from her and I was like, Pippa, I can't help you. And then I gave it back and now she's playing with it. I'm totally game for fact night. That would be great. And we could like, we could have guest speakers if you wanted. If any of you like have an area of expertise that you want to talk about, you could come on and tell us about like your favorite animal and tell us facts about them. That'd be very fun. I think that'd be fun anyway, as someone who likes to learn new things about animals and things in general, I guess. I'm learning a lot of new things in general. I just I just started a new job, uh, like two weeks ago. So I'm learning a lot in my trainings, and I learned- this is super cool, and I guess if you're in the medical community, you probably already knew this, but I did not. I thought it was crazy that certain cancer drugs, um, cancer treatments, work by building a bridge essentially from the cancer cell to your body's I, th mm, I think it's t-cells they build a bridge from the cancer cell to your fighter cells essentially and they let them go on that bridge into the cancer cell and kill it that is insane that's nuts that's so cool that's not an animal fact that's just like a fact fact and i it blows my mind it's so cool i love it thanks for coming to my dead talk Oh, can we have a let's watch of documentaries on YouTube? Yes, we can. Yes, we absolutely can. That sounds like a great, great night. Let's do it. We could do that. We could either do it for Sunday stream, or we could do it for Friday stream or Sunday scream. Stream, not scream. I do that all the time. It's like, let's do a scream tonight. It's like, all right, 
Same as every night, I guess. Yeah, we could do it Friday or Sunday. What do people prefer? We could do a documentary stream night where we learn things. Oh, I, <laughs> I keep doing that. It's like Q-berries? And they're like, absolutely not, no. Can I share random facts about my persona? Oh my god, absolutely, yes, please. We're all for facts here. Let's see. Did you know there's a bird called the blue-footed booby? I did know that, I did know that, and they're cool. They're cool birds. I learned a lot about animal reproduction, so if you need to know some weird facts about that, I got you covered, heck. Yeah, we always do, of course, of course. I don't know a ton about reproduction, I... I know a chunk about equine reproduction, because I used to work in equine reproduction, but I don't know a ton about like other animals' reproduction. I do know one fact about horses is that they're the only livestock species that the fetus, the baby... Um, oh, hold on. I don't know why Nightbot blocked your message, Chloe. Sorry. I'm trying to find videos of live birds mimicking humans. <laughs> Alright. Oh, sorry, Slime Rancher minimized. But no, horses are the only livestock species where the baby tells the mom when it wants to be born, essentially. So it's not the mom's hormonal change that triggers the birth, it's the baby's hormonal change, which that's really cool to me. Hello chickens, hello PS chicken. Bob, I know you like chickens. You want weird chickens, I don't know where they exist yet, so... I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't have chickens for you, Bob. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Oh, you know what we could- well, do we have any new upgrades? I want new upgrades. I know I need to do these tasks for upgrades, but a lot of them is- Oh! Bob wants chickens or Thora. Up too late, need a few things. Oh, I have all those. You want cats, rocks, and fire. Let's just do cats and rocks. Okay, hold on. Also, there's a bird called the Great Tit. I did know that. Yes, I did. Gotta love animal breeding class. Exactly. Do you know broccoli is considered a carcinogen? Damn. Don't ruin broccoli like this for me, Kate. I love broccoli. You know, sometimes the things you love are the things that hurt you the most, and you just gotta be okay with that for the things you love. Like broccoli. Cool. Oh yeah, there are multiple use ones. I forgot about that. <laughs> Animals are nuts. Yes, please share. Please share, Pepper. I'd love to hear it. Animals are whack, they are. Oh my god, sorry. One more fact and then we can we can do others. Do you know, have you seen the funny pictures, right? Have you seen the funny pictures of foxes like diving headfirst into the snow to catch mice? Like you, you probably know that, right? They're trying to catch mice. But the way that they catch mice is not only by listening for them with their giant ears, but they use, they like triangulate where the mouse is by the magnetic force, like the magnetic field in the earth. They like use the magnetic field to triangulate where the mouse is in the snow. That's so nuts. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Are you kidding me? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's so cool. I only know about birds because of that game. Fair enough. I should check out that game. Is it about like real birds or is it like fake birds? But I guess it's real birds because you're telling us about real birds, but maybe real birds with fake names. I could see that. I could see the real birds with fake names. Fake birds with real names. Finally found one saying, no sunblock. Can you share it in the Discord? I wanna, I wanna see that bad. It's also when everyone knows that bananas are radioactive. I, bananas just have <laughs> so much going on, you know? Also, why did I come this way when I don't have enough room in my inventory for anything? What am I doing? What am I doing? Guess I'll just go back to the ranch and then come back again. Male cats do have spiky penises. This is scary. That's a scary fact. Ducks have spiral penises, so that this is gross, I'm sorry, but the ducks have spiral penises so that the males can like gang up on the female and ensure she gets pregnant. That is pretty messed up, ducks, not gonna lie. Okay, where 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 this way, please? I'm gonna go put these in our little repository, depository, I don't know. Thing. I'm doing that thing with my wrist where I put it in a dumb position. I need the, the silly mouse pad. Send me the first one you found for research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close enough. 
All right, my persona is, oh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name. Akio, Sunfall, Gray, Blue, and Black Husky. He likes depressing, they like depressing music, is a female. Not depressed, just like the music, good to know. Best friend is Barry and Leah, that's very nice. Husky's a great persona, good choice, great choice. Here we are. Also, if you were to blend up 12 apple cores, you could give yourself lethal arsenic poisoning. That's a fun fact. That's crazy. That's nuts. Great fact, Chloe. Excellent. I mean, theoretically. Theoretically excellent. Songbird Symphony, all real birds put in unlikely situations. Oh, okay. Very cool. I'd love to check it out. Duckiness is only screw one direction. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ducks. Ducks, why? This one is redacted because I change it every day. Fair enough, fair enough. It's alright, you know? Oh god, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Why are you why are you doing this? You have food. Guys. What do you call this stuff right here? I call it food. Eat. Stop being crabbies. My god. Well, I guess I'm not gonna do you fast because like, I don't really care if you throw a temper tantrum out here. There's nothing to nothing to destroy, you know? Oh, Casey messaged me. Hey, Casey. Hold on. Yeah, that is that is why ducks have spiral, spiral dong, ding dongs, you know? So that's the truth and it's gross and sad, but that's nature, I guess, gross and sad. I don't need these for anything, but I guess I'll give them to the pinks. Silver parsnip. They look like a silver carrot to me, but what do I know about parsnips? If you were to eat 11 pounds of almonds in a two hour span, you can get lethal cyanide poisoning, but you'd be throwing up and seizing. God, where do you learn these food facts, Chloe? These are nuts. I'm trying to think on facts, but I'm, I'm drawing a blank again, so sorry. You guys will have to keep supplying them for us in our in our National Geographic stream. My favorite character is Burb. It's a good character choice. I don't know who Burb is, but I'm, I'm sure they're great. Okay, guys, honestly, quit throwing a tantrum. Eat these lemons. Chill out. They're like, no, we are mad. We must throw lemons. All that for 15 measly plorts? All right, cool. You guys are a lot of work. I don't know if you're worth the work so far. Good night. Thank you so much for watching, Gamer Wolf. Appreciate having you at the stream. Hope you have a good night. Put that in perspective, the average human eats about 11 pounds of food in total in the entire day. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of food. Yes, good night. The main character. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Good choice. Hank, why are you out here? Hank, do whatever you want, I guess, but you don't get food when you're out here. Alright. Well, that was super nice of Indy for raiding us again. I'll have to thank them. We've done that once before and it's always super appreciated. So if you're here from Indie Stream, thanks for sticking around. And I just, I appreciate that they do that, that they send people over for raids. It's very nice. Oh shoot, I forgot to do this. Uh, cat and rock. Seven of one, six of the other. We'll just do seven of each. Cat and rock. Let's remember, cat and rock. Here we go, cat and rock. Here we come, here we come, cat and rock. Okay, rock, I know, right down here. Rock, one. Two, three, three. Stop merging with other slimes. Four. There's a lot of pink plorts down here. Five. Okay, moving on. They took some of the lemons from you before it went into the auto feeder. Naughty. That is naughty. 
I'm brain farting out a ton of my anal flex. Okay, thank you, Radish, because that makes me feel less ridiculous. I hate that. I feel like this is genuine. This is like real talk, getting serious hour. I went to the doctor last year because I felt like I was having memory issues. And I was genuinely, because I was like, I was forgetting facts and I was forgetting like, it was like things were on the tip of my tongue, but I couldn't think of what the word was. And it was scary. And so I went to the doctor and I ended up having to go to like a, oh God, I'm going to remember, I'm going to forget the title. It was like a neuro something, like a neurophysiologist or neuropsychologist or something. Um, and we did all these tests and he was like, you know, you're above average on everything except for like the word recall, which is what I was having troubles with. And he's like, for that, you're like slightly below average. And I was like, yeah, that's scary. And he said, you know, because you're above average on all the rest, I'm not worried about it, but you know, come back if it continues to be a problem. So it's like, it's still kind of a problem. Like I still struggle with it. And I don't know what it is, but he said some people just have that. It doesn't have to be like a cause, but I don't know, man. It's just scary. I don't like it. I don't like having that in my brain. Some, something's not right. I don't know. It's a little spooky. But, but I digress. I was a little, a little serious. Oh, my facts are about stuff that can kill you in accidents. Do you know that once in Boston, a massive silo of molasses spilled and killed like 21 people? I did not know that. That is a crazy fact and scary. Very scary. Let's just get our cat slime. Reports say it moved at like 30 miles an hour. Jesus. Rebel, do you have ADHD? I do not. I have nothing. I am neurotypical to my knowledge, though I am, you know, a bit sus of certain things. But to my knowledge, I've never been diagnosed with anything, so. Here I am. Here I sit. I have that problem too sometimes. Yeah, and it, it sucks, right? Like, it just makes you feel bad because you're like, I. I know what I'm talking about, but I just can't articulate it. It's frustrating. Though, of course, I do remember, like, on the test that he gave me, I remember the words I couldn't think of on the test to this day, because it was, like, not a bad memory, just, like, a specific, a core memory. Taking that silly test. Because I have horrible memory as a thing from it. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, I don't... My memory all around isn't bad. It's just the like tip of the tongue thing that, that gets me. It gets me too often, I'd say. Where am I going? Why am I going? Where, who, what, why? Where am I going this way? I've been stumbling more in my sentences, like talking about something and I stutter super easy words. Yeah, and it's, it's scary, right? Like I don't, I don't like that feeling at all. I'm sorry to hear that you're dealing with that though. That's, uh, I don't like that. Sorry. Like, I can't remember anything from my past and I've forgotten how to spell words. Yeah, that's awful. It's awful. It's not good, but it like helps to talk about it, I guess, because I didn't know that other people also dealt with it. So it's kind of a relief in some way that I'm not the only one. I feel like people don't talk about it that much though, which is, we should be talking about it because then more people would feel okay with it. I spent 15 minutes trying to spell of, oh my gosh. That must've been scary. I don't like that, it's sad. I have ADD, ADHD, and PPD. Well, I hope you're getting good treatment for it and that you have a good uh, good team working with you on it. That's not something you should have to do on your own, so I hope you have good people. I like to turn things that go bad into good situation like autism. Yeah, totally, absolutely, because my absolute favorite person in the world well okay that's a bit dramatic but like one of my idols is temple grandin dr temple grandin and she has autism and she accredits that the autism to like why she's so so good at what she does because she's able to like so dr temple grandin is um like i don't know i'm gonna be a bit dramatic and say like one of the biggest faces in animal welfare um, she's designed over 75 percent of slaughterhouses in the u.s to be more humane for the animals and increase production She's amazing. She's an amazing, amazing woman and she has autism and she credits it because she says that she can think like the animals because she's able to like put herself in their shoes and say, you know, they're afraid because of this or they're not moving forward because of this. And she's amazing. I, she's so cool. But yes, absolutely. Take, take control of the diagnosis and use it to your advantage because you have abilities that other people don't have. So good for you. That's fantastic. 
I think I need one more cat. Any any cats want to come play? I don't have time to see it. I can't spell apparently without spell check. That's a hard word, to be fair. One that I struggled with was... <laughs> of course, now I can't even remember it. Shocker. But a similar word is accessory. If you have a word with C's and S's and you don't know how many of which, it's... you. This is so silly. You have one collar on your shirt and two sleeves. So there's one C, two S's. Accessory. Accessory is not the word I was thinking though, but that's just like a similar example, I guess. My family was laughing like, oh, you stuttered there and you, yeah, and I laughed too because I don't want it to be embarrassing. Yeah, you laugh, but on the inside you're like, oh my god, like, what's happening to me? I don't like this. Yeah, it's, it's a bad deal. I know when I told my mom that I was going to see the I'm sorry, I keep reading the title, the neuro, neuropsychologist or whatever. She was like, she was supportive, like she was very nice about it, but she just said like, oh yeah, like sometimes I have that same feeling. I struggle to remember stuff too. And it's like, no, it's not like, it's not just like sometimes I struggle to remember stuff. It's like, I'll be mid conversation and I can't remember the word like pen. So ah, it's scary. It's just scary. Yeah, Temple Grandin is amazing. She's the best. She's awesome. I got to meet her in college and it was so cool to hear her speak. And it was really cool because there were a lot of, um, parents who came to her to see her speak. She was speaking on uh, both animal welfare and autism, but there were a lot of parents with like autistic kids that were there. And I don't, it was really cool because the parents would like raise their hand and they would be like, you know, um, my son or my daughter, they want to they want to get into architecture. Like they want to be an architect. Um, and the parent would ask like Dr. Grandin, like, what do you suggest they do? And I just thought it was really cool because she was like, well, why don't they ask me? Like they need to ask me themselves. And the parents are like, no, they don't, they don't do that. They don't ask. And she was like, well, if you don't have them ask, they're never gonna, they're never gonna be able to like do things on their own. And so she would like walk over to them and sit down with them and just like, it was just really cool to see because she understands what these kids are going through because she is going through the same thing. So she's able to like communicate with them and like explain things to them in the way that they both relate to. I don't know. I could just, I could go on, but Temple Grandin, Dr. Temple Grandin is absolutely a fantastic person and role model so there's a documentary about her if you want to watch it the documentary is really good you just type in like temple granite documentary and i think it'll come up how do i escape this area let's go up this log i'm gonna read chat really quick hold on one second lady's back welcome lady because autism i'm good at math but slow at it yeah absolutely and nothing wrong with that that's super cool that you have that ability she is amazing. Yes, yeah, she does. I hate my autism sometimes because people refuse to help me with problems because I appear to be neurotypical. People think I'm just forgetful or that I don't care when I legitimately forgot to do work. Totally. And that's, that's so frustrating. And I'm sorry that you deal with that. But yeah, I hope people like Temple are like spreading the word that like people who are neurodivergent are amazing and can do these amazing things, but you have to support them in different ways. Um, than you do people who are neurotypical, which is cool. I think it's really cool. Lady's back. Sometimes I spell those like thoughts. Yeah. Like those. Yeah, totally. Whipped cream on so deep. <laughs> some vibe. Oh my god. I, I can't say I've ever tried that, but I can do cake frosting and graham crackers. I can make that a meal every day. All day, every day. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm kind of just wandering, honestly. I'd like to get back to the ranch. I think I already passed that 15 minute mark, so I guess we just have these slimes for no reason, but that's fine. I gotta go this way. Okay, cool. No, you got to hear her speak so jealous. Yeah, if you, um, I won't share where I went to college, but if you, Radish, I don't know if you know, but I can send it to you. If you want to, she speaks at that college at least once a year, sometimes twice a year. And sometimes she'll instruct one of the classes there, which is so cool. Um, but she does, she gives spe speeches there. And I think it's like, it was free if you went to school there, but if you didn't, I think it was like 35 bucks to attend one of her, it was like a two hour speech. And then afterwards she does a book signing. And so I had her sign my copy of her book too. So definitely I can send you where I went. And then you can, if you want to go see her talk, it's so, 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 so cool. Okay, um, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Alright. Do you still need these things? You do. Okay, probably don't have much longer, so let's hop to- Oh, I have quite a bit longer. Okay, and then I just need to get rid of these and then get some 
of those little fire plorts. Let's get those fire plorts quick and then I'll read chat again. I just want to get those before the timer runs out. Hold on one second. I will read chat in just a second, sorry. I just want to get past this part real quick. Nice. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Alright. That's some good stuff. Let's get these two things that like blew out here. And then I gotta go to the freaking uh, lab. Okay, let me read. Let me read. I might just actually pause the game for a second to read because I don't want to multitask. <laughs> oh, let's see. What sucks with me is that I'll forget a word I was right about to say. I'll be like, yeah, it's like when someone is, someone is, I forget the word. Yeah, that's, I have that exact same issue. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. It's like it's on the tip of your tongue. And guess what's happening in a month? I met my girlfriend has savant syndrome and she's an amazing writer. She doesn't write the type of books I'm into, but it's written so amazingly. What's happening to you in a month? I don't know. I can't guess. I don't know. Please tell me. I had pickles and frozen chocolate chip egg and waffles for dinner. Not at the same time. Okay, thank God, because I was just picture. Uh, I was picturing the egos on the chocolate chips, and I was like, okay, not here to judge, but I'm judging a little. I, for dinner, I had a single cheeseburger from McDonald's because I didn't want to cook. And my stomach is still angry for literally no reason at all, so I've been... I found that if I eat during the day, it makes it better, but I'm not, I'm never, I'm like not hungry ever. So I just eat to eat, but if I don't eat, I feel worse, so I just eat. It's a vicious cycle. So hopefully my health insurance kicks in soon and I'm going to go to the doctor <laughs> and find out what's going on, but you know, for now. Mm, I see that you are mixed with a pink. Interesting. Very interesting. Oops, I didn't mean to suck that out. That's for eating. I just meant to get the plorts. You must tell me. Yes, I will. I'll message you it. I'll message you it because you could definitely go see her and you'd love it. It's fantastic. And yeah, I think I have her like Animals in Translation book, which is a really good book, and you can have her sign sign copies of it and take your picture with her, which is very like fangirl, but <laughs> it was cool. I I think it was cool. My case manager thinks I have so much cinnamon art. I drew a perfect picture of a turtle. That's cool. That's very cool. Super super cool. Oh, you're getting hormones. That's great. Yeah, that's super cool. Good for you. That's very exciting. Very, very exciting. Radish, I'm very bad at organizing my thoughts when I'm given multiple tasks, especially with my new job. Boss tells me a lot of things to do and I have to write them down and organize them on a new piece of paper or I forget them. Yes, totally can relate. I can absolutely relate to that. I have been doing the same thing at my new job where I just, when I'm given a new task, <laughs> I like how I shot him in there and he's just like, nope, <laughs> shoots back out. When I'm given a new task, I have to write everything down or I forget it. Absolutely. And then I feel dumb asking because it's like, I know you just told me. Was it the Travis Scott meal? No, it wasn't because my dumb body can't have soda and I wasn't really feeling fries. So I was like, can I have two cheeseburgers? No onions. I got the two cheeseburgers. I ate one of them and I was like, well, I don't really want the other one. So I'm going to put it in the freezer and have it tomorrow. Nothing like next day McDonald's to keep you going. I love McDonald's. Oh my God. Yeah, I, here's my beef with McDonald's, if I may. Um, when I was in college, they used to have this chicken ranch wrap and it was literally just like chicken strips inside a wrap. It was delicious. It was so good. I would get it maybe twice a week, <laughs> a lot more than I should have, um, but it was super good and it was really cheap and I loved it. And then for a reason unknown to me, they stopped having it on the menu. They stopped selling it. And their burgers are good. Like, of course, their McDonald's burgers are of course good. But that wrap was like my favorite food and they took it away from me and I, I'm not over it. I'm still upset about it. I want that wrap. Every time I go to McDonald's, I'm like, remember when they had the chicken ranch wrap? And they don't remember because they took it right off the menu. Sorry, those McDonald's ran. When I realize I'm getting thicker, getting thicker. That's all right. It's all G. 
I'm never hungry in the morning. I get hungry at like one in the afternoon and I always want to eat at like 11 at night. I, ugh, that's so crazy. I've heard so many people say that they get like nauseous if they eat in the morning or they, they aren't hungry in the morning. But like before all these GI issues were happening to me, I would like wake up and I'd be like ready to eat. <laughs> I'd be super hungry. Like I'd be laying in bed just on my phone and my stomach would be growling really loud. So it's a, it's a weird feeling for me at least to like not wake up hungry and just not be hungry throughout the day. Just eating because I have to eat. And yeah, because at first when I started with this stuff, it was like, God, I just, I feel sick all the time. Like, why am I feeling sick all the time? I don't want to eat. And then it was like, oh, well, if I eat, even though I'm not hungry, I feel less sick. So eat. The solution is eat and drink a lot of water. To all of life's problems, I think that is the solution. Same, same. I think I work too much overnight shifts. Fair enough. Yeah, your body's like, what is going on? What is happening? I don't eat breakfast and people are like, but you need to eat breakfast, but I'm not hungry. Yeah, that's so hard too. Cause if you're, if you're not hungry for breakfast, it definitely just makes you feel like gross as you're eating it. So it's like, oh, I can't eat breakfast. I'm not hungry. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. With autism, there's always something good and something bad, but not always equal. That's a good point. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I really like that documentary because she talks about her struggles with it and just like what she had to overcome, especially being born when she did because she's older now. So she was born in like a different generation when she talks about in the documentary how when she was a kid, um, they thought at the time that autism was caused by the mother not like loving the baby enough when she was young and not giving the baby enough attention. So it goes over her mother like having to go to these doctors and be told by these doctors like you didn't love your child enough and that's why she has this disorder. Like it's very sad. All right, eat that up, friends. Pippa, I know you need to go out. We may need to end the stream soon-ish, because I gotta take Pippa out. Okay, let me read chat again. One, one second. Um, I'm not gonna be sad as I won't be able to sprint down the stairs. Fair enough. When I was little, I, need, I needed to eat right now. Oh, now with IBS, my gut says, do not eat now. So I just do not eat. So I'm a little... I'm a little sus that whatever's going on with my, like, b body is IBS or is, like, I don't know, something like IBS because, yeah, it's just been, like, I had, like, one episode a, a month ago where I, like, didn't go to the bathroom for, like, <laughs> too long and ever since then it's just been, like, something is not right. I think, like, the flora in there got messed up or, like, something happened and it's just not right anymore. So I, I do wonder if it's, like, IBS. Have you found any foods that, like, relieve your symptoms or... What do you do to mitigate it? Um, yeah, that does sound like way too much work. Human fun fact, the human head is about five pounds, but your neck is so muscular to hold it up. That is a fun fact. That's a big old head. I guess I'll go read this letter. I am kind of overplaying the game, but I'm having fun talking to you guys. So maybe we'll just like pause the game and talk. Uh, let me go read this letter though. Uh, what is IBS? IBS is irritable bowel syndrome. I won't go into detail because I don't like have it or anything, so I don't want to like mansplain disorders. But it is like a GI disorder. Coming home, Casey. Hi, B. The year we both came home, do you think it ever could have worked? Oh yeah, so Casey is like a love interest. I think it's supposed to be a guy, but I pretend it's a girl. I mean, being with you again every day instead of the long distance thing, that was great. I remember feeling really happy, but something was missing. We both know that we were giving something up for it all. I think about it all the time, that if we had been less honest about it, you might still be running that little garden shop, and I'd still be trying to write music out of a basement. It doesn't matter. I should have told you then what I never did. I should have said it a hundred times. All right, Casey, that's a bit dramatic, but whatever, dude. Um, I don't really want to purchase this yet. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, Bob. Yeah, Bob is fun in this game. I never have the chickens Bob wants, though. It's always like, sorry, Bob. Incoming from Ogden or Mookie. My toast is in jam here. Help a pal out. Cannot, because I don't know what plort that is. I don't know what plort you want. Mookie. 
Um, I've had a ton of problems since before fifth grade, really? Then I had a ton of tests done with no answers. Very recently when I learned that Zantac was discontinued, I went to my doctor and he was like, okay, I need something to replace that. She was like, I'm diagnosing you with IBS. You have an antispasmodic for your gut. It doesn't fix it, fix it, but it makes it suck less. That's insane. That's crazy. I had no idea. Oh shoot, I'm sorry you're dealing with that, but glad you're hopefully managing it all right now. That is awful. Just really not fun. That's kind of my fear with it too, is like I I know something's up, but I fear if I go to the doctor, they'll be like, I don't know, like something. Cause that's uh, the last time I had like routine blood work done, my, um, it's the word thing again. <laughs> my sugar was really low. My glucose was really low. It was like 40 and they were like, you should really get that checked out. And so I went to another doctor and they were like, oh, it's your diet. Like you just need to eat better. And I was like, okay, I'll eat better. And I don't, I still don't think that's the issue. I had a thyroid test done, it came back normal. I don't know, I'm, I'm sus of it. I'm sus that just eating healthy is the only issue. But now I have been trying to eat a like probiotic yogurt every day <laughs> to help my gut and they are not good tasting. They taste bad. But if it helps, you know, I'll eat the gross yogurt, it's fine. Desert, what's in the desert? Pippa, I know, we're gonna end the stream very soon. I'm sorry, stream. I gotta let Pippa out and I have to go to bed because I work tomorrow. Okay. Let's just do some more vacuuming and then we'll end it. Make sure you do the jobs for the green dude. He opens up a really cool area. Oh, okay, I'll do that, thank you. No, that's a good, that's really good to know. I'll do him for sure. Hi, right, Pippa, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, you gotta go to the glass desert at night. Okay, all right. I'll try that out. It's gonna be scary though, I bet. I feel like I need to build the transporter too though because I'm always having to run everywhere and it's just obnoxious. Pretty much makes your uh, gut spasm when you eat food. It can be any food. It's not only gluten or milk or anything. I can drink coffee one day and be fine and the next day drink it and have awful cramps and diarrhea. That is awful. God, I'm sorry. Or can do the opposite and make you constipated. Yeah, totally. I've been... Ugh, I'm sorry that you have to deal with that though. That's so frustrating. God. Just makes you like not want to eat, I'm sure then, because it's like, what's gonna happen if I eat this? Pippa, what are you doing? Please stop crying. She's like, bye bye, I wasn't crying. Never, I would never cry. Oh, hold on, she needs water, one second. Do you need water? Okay, sorry, I'm back. Sorry. What gadgets do you have? Um, I don't know. I have, I have unlocked everything up until, let's see. The backpack upgrades, I'm full on. I don't know about gadgets though. I don't really know what gadgets I have, honestly. Maybe that's what you have? I don't know, it, would it just come on? I don't know if it would just come on suddenly like that though. Like I've been fine and then just one day my body was like, you're done. You're gonna be bloated every day for the rest of your life. I wake up and I feel gross and I continue the day and I feel gross. <laughs> End of story. I need to work out and lose weight, but I don't want to be muscular. Well, I feel that. I need to work out more too. That did seem to help when I was working out regularly, but here we are. Not eat for sure. And it hits the worst most often at night. So I have to sleep at an angle propped on a pillow with a heat pack. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm really sorry. That sounds awful. That doesn't sound fun at all. God. I need to be more thankful for being able to eat things and not, uh, not do that. I also need to work out. I want, I want to get the ring fit for the switch. I think that'd be a good like excuse for me to work out. I feel that Chloe, I feel that I'm, I lost like 10 pounds at one point and then I moved and I ate garbage food again. And now it's like, Back to where I was. <laughs> you can look at the same place you made the drills. Oh, okay, cool. I will I will go look for what gadgets I have. Hi, Pibble. 
Thanks for coming over here to cough. It goes chonky and not liking it as much. Well, it's all good, you know? You can always change it, right? You can be chonky and then you can be not again. So, it's all good. Oh, I'm having a fun time talking, but I think I am gonna end the stream just because I have to go to bed and I have to get take the dogs out one more time. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. As always, super fun to hang out with all of you. Um, I would love. To, I, I think we'll do the documentary stream on Friday. So if you want to come Friday, we can we can do the documentary stream. Um, makes nerve. Oh, when camping or staying over with people or cons. Well, radish. If you ever room with us, just know, like, even though I can't help with your pain or like the shitty things like that, like, absolutely no judgment. If you need to use the bathroom or if you need to lay a certain way, like. No judgment at all. Like you're in safe space, safe space. Mm, places, especially with fast foods, are not healthy foods. Yeah, totally, totally. Okay. Super fun stream. I hope you enjoyed my crazy facts. I did. I did enjoy your crazy facts. Thank you, Chloe. I had a really fun time on the stream too. So thank you guys so much for coming. As always, um, if you want to come chat in the Discord, do it up. Otherwise, I think we're gonna do that documentary stream Friday or Sunday. We'll find someone. We can all pick them out together. So that would be super fun. All right, guys, thank you so much as always. I'm gonna actually do a raid tonight, so let's see who we can raid. Um, Cause there's a decent number of people here, so let's... Who else is streaming right now? How do I look at like what furries on my team are streaming? Hold on, let's let's look at who else is streaming and we'll, we'll pick someone out. Let's look at who else is streaming and we'll, we'll pick someone out. Um, Peppa, I know I'm coming as fast as I can. You can come Friday, that'd be great, yeah. Lainey, good night. Um, I'm just trying to see, there's not really anyone like that I follow that's streaming right now. I'm just wondering if anyone on Wild Abandon is streaming and then we could go to their channel. Let's see, let's pick the person who has the least viewer. So this person has one viewer, what are they playing? Um, let's see, I wanted to, let's hunt some spoops. Let's do, oh, they're playing Phasmophobia. I've never played that one. Let's read them. Tolfzilla, let's do it up. All right, guys, let's raid Tolfzilla and then it's going to be fun. So if you have to go to bed, I understand. It's all good. But we'll just go say hi to them for a bit. Thank you guys so much for coming. Hope to see you in the Discord and hope to see you on Friday. It's all the diffuser streaming. I want to do a smaller stream. You guys ready to raid? All right, we're going to raid in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go and have a fantastic night. Thank you so much again, you guys.